Hello and welcome to another episode of Generic Fantasy Setting number 17735. This is Season 3, Episode 3, here on Dork Tales. I'm your Dungeon Master Kelly, and joining me tonight is the Party Nothing Ventured, which stars... Amy! Hello, I'm Amy, and I'm playing Tia Armstrong, the half-orc druid. And also, featuring... Dice! Yeah, featuring... <laughs> yeah, that I'm very jealous of that dice bag, that's pretty lovely. It's so beautiful! <laughs> Shut up. I didn't have the money to get it, I should have gotten it. I should have just... Mm. Said, damn mine. it, put it on my credit card. Mine's cuter. It is, but mine has 88 dice in it and more space. And a little belt clip. That's true. That's you... nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I can I can see. I, I could use that for our D&D &D Live outfits. Right? Starring Christine. Hi, I'm Christine, and I'm playing Malia Sunsworn, the Dwarven Tempest Cleric of Vela. All right. Christine, can you turn your mic up just a tiny bit or move it just a tiny bit closer? Starring Mike. I don't understand hey guys, how it keeps changing. I'm Mike. I am playing Xeno Right Wing, our half elf ranger. Uh Mike, take it up ten percent and featuring Winter. Hi, I'm Winter. I play Mars, the Tiefling Rogue. You are just your your mic's perfect. I'm too much to the this side. But I don't understand how, how my mic settings keep changing, considering I don't change anything. All right. <laughs> like it's in the same spot, same volume. Been for weeks. It's, it's because you're not speaking as Callie. Well, that's just the shit. <laughs> <laughs> that character Which, is so weird. Hayden oh, was Callie. fantastic and gave me tips on how to not destroy my vocal cords while doing that voice. Good. So. Nice, good. Nice. I've yeah. been practicing on the dog. Good. Well, that's a good thing. Practicing, practicing on the on. dog. How's the dog's <laughs> vocals? Is, is like, he doing well? You were asleep. So we sat on the couch this morning before I let him in to sleep with you and uh, had tea and disgust things you had tea and disgust how does he react to your voice things. he just most of the time he just kind of sits there and she's like okay scratch my neck now but then he'll kind of do the <laughs> you just have to say the word that you have to say that you're a snack and he'll be like snack? snacks do you we um snacks? so snacks, for those of you who care well, i'm snack sized <laughs> uh for those of you who care we went and uh I picked up some groceries today, and while I was out, uh, Christine sent me a text that was like, we need more dog treats. So I got Charlie um, carob, not chocolate, but carob chocolate chip cookies. And they're like and they legit look just chocolate chip like, cookies. They and look just like, really like, funny. like the, the bad chocolate chip cookies you get out of the crinkle packages. <laughs> and The uh, dad's you, chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, or the... They look like those. Or the Nestle's Toll House in mm. the States, yeah. That was a shit ton of dice. 88 dice! Wow. 88 dice. Now, of course, you've mixed all your bad luck together now. Yeah. Your bad luck is spread. Nothing I... will roll above a three. That bag is tainted. You have failed with the dice. <laughs> she didn't realize this until now. <laughs> and that was the moment that Amy knew she fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you had to replay that back, Kelly, and then find the frame. Just a, I oh, put over no. that sad violin. <laughs> Hello, in the arms of an angel. Dice. And black and white. It. Look, I botched all my rolls. Oh, by the way, you guys, uh, everybody, take a point of initiative tonight. A point of initiative. Take Woo! a point of inspiration tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plus one initiative, everybody. Can I also take Ooh. a beat? For you a critical a, fail. You can take a critical you can take a beat for a critical fail and you can take a haircut for a critical roll. Hi. Are you were you saying we're getting an extra? No, you just take no, a just one. Start, we start just with one. one. Just the oh, one. Just as a, us as a treat. Oh. As a treat. Players as can have snack. an inspiration. As a treat. All right. So anyway, uh, that, <laughs> now that that's out of the way. See, I added all this stuff out of um of Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, because I think people will just click away. But on generic, man, that's what they're here for us. They're here for us. They're here for us. Thanks, here guys. For my dice clicky clackies. This is my dragon's horde. For your dragon. Clackies. It's your it's your shrine to Kepic to Kipicus. Kipicus. Got the ticky ticks. And... I'm still okay. not convinced that Kipicus is not like Zalos lost a bet and created a god on. You know what it was? It's just, just a, it's just a, a <laughs> goblin accidentally fell into whatever makes gods in this world. Yeah, Ooh. or uh, I, I definitely like the idea of someone losing a bet and having and like creating a god by accident because everyone's just like, it's like, yep, all right, fine, it's a god now. Let's do it. The god of accidents. Oh, totally. It's a goblin that was just so good at the takey takes. The takey takes. That he became legend 
Legend. Among yeah. the clans. Got your and godhood. Kind of forced his own going. godhood. Yeah. And then he's I love then he it. probably realized, oh, you can take he takes the gods as well. <laughs> you can take he takes divinity. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, my favorite god. No, it makes me think takes. of like no takesies backsies. No takes no backsies. Take, no takes backsies from the tabaxis. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, so anyway, uh, last time on generic fantasy setting, y'all went down to a an island key chain called Island Walk that uh, you had heard there was some treasure. When you arrived, you found that the place had recently undergone a bit of a tribulation when uh, a year ago earthquakes rocked the land and two of the islands sank beneath the waves. Uh, although one of them kind of comes back on the low tide. It's, it's a thing. Uh, as you were there, you um, found that the tourist destination had been completely devastated uh, by these changes, as well as a lot of the local wars and troubles in, say, neighboring Oslovek, which probably fed them a lot of tourism dollars. And as you were there, you decided that uh, you might as well grab some food, hunt down the mare, determined that there was in fact no treasure, and that it was probably just a tourist trap to lead adventurers there to reignite their economy. And that's the point that you realized uh, that, uh, well, actually, that's the point when well, a bunch of people from your past started showing up to have dinner with you. That's really weird. Yeah. And, nice then, though. and then you realized that they actually were slime creations and an oblex was controlling that island that was yep. unfortunate yes it was kind of more of a like wait a minute that's wrong destructive wave destructive wave uh so hey, you slimy. you went and uh defeated them you uh returned your uh <laughs> memories back into your brains i guess because they return yeah. after a long rest i am kind of confused Good. about oblexes i'm not gonna lie because apparently people get their memories back after a short or a long rest Hmm. But the Oblex keeps them? So it just seems to me like they're not terribly dangerous. Hmm. They, they maybe maybe I missed So I mean sentence. in a way that the best predator there is because they don't incite people to destroy them necessarily? Hmm. Maybe. But anyway, uh we will uh we'll deal with that later but the giant oblex that you were fighting managed to escape using dimension door because they're quite clever girls and uh Punk. you all escaped there uh had a brief talk about some certain things and found that xeno was knocked out by the front door mm. Mm. we put so him to bed it was fine so after grabbing him and putting him to bed uh you went to sleep and decided that you would figure out what to do with your little vacation island walk the following day which, guess what, guys? It's the following day, and as hey. you wake up, we don't need that music, we need this music. Alright. And uh, if the audio is too loud for you guys or for the chat, please let me know, because it sounds different to me than it might to you. Okay. Seems fine in my ear, but then I, I've done volume mixing on it, so... Yeah, so it's good for me, but chat, let us know. Sounds good. All right, so the morning rays, well, oh, sorry, the early afternoon rays gently caress your faces as you are inside of the bungalow you've shacked up in. It's, did you just grab a random house? I think we did. Yeah, I, think I think we really we found about somewhere that much. was empty and had beds and was relatively clean. Okay. Uh, so inside of this bungalow, uh, I would like every one of you just to roll me a d20, just to see who wakes first. 10. 17. <laughs> 14. Well, Zeno, you are going to come to consciousness uh, significantly earlier than everyone else. You're basically going to just... You're not used to... A what? Unconsciousness counts as sleeping, technically. One moment. Oh, do I need to roll for if I got eaten by the wild hunt? Yeah, you do. Uh, so I need you to make me a. Uh, I need you to make me a charisma save, and I need to make. Do you? This so, is fine. So oh, 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 four. Four. Okay, one moment, please. <laughs> uh, so I get a roll Bye, percentiles Zeno? on whether or not they detect you. So. Bye. Maybe. I need to get another book. I'll be right back. Oh, no. 
Bye, guys. I'm dying. So is that like another discrepancy between the editions we've had, like the prints? No, I think it's a separate book. It's, it's a separate um... book that has the stats of the things I'm using for the wild hunt. Mm -hmm. uh, so just a moment. Uh, not that I need it for any reason. Oh, of course not. No, never. God damn. You know, heaven forbid, right? Uh, Mike, you're coming in a little garbly at your top notes, just so you know. Hmm. That's weird. Just seems like you're kind of overclocking your mic a little bit. So maybe just tilt it away from your mouth a tiny bit. Right. right now? How about that? That's pretty good. Yeah, Alrighty. I think I think your high notes were just over overdoing it a little bit. Mm, okay. So feel free to be loud if you want to. Uh, Roar. Mm, Don't wow. be as loud as me, though. That's true. I break people's ears. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So. I'm sorry. Um, it's true. So. <laughs> and microphones. Can I get everyone just to do me a favor then? Uh, and that would be to re-roll their... So take whatever you rolled for your wisdom before. It's mm -hmm. actually going to be a perception roll. Oh, so okay. Use your dice with whatever would have been a perception roll before. And roll one more dice uh, and count that as disadvantage, please. Oh, Even me? I don't remember what I... I think I rolled it. Oh, I Even rolled you. a 10. I didn't realize it was a perception check. I thought you said yep. just roll a d20. Yep. Yeah. So... so oh, yeah. Um, in that case, 21 was my lower one. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably probably good. Mm, in that case, if it's a... Two is still my lowest. Ten, rolling a ten was still my lowest. Was it a wisdom? It, no, it was perception. Ah, so it would have been a 17 then. 17. Mm -hmm. I, I have so many more. dice. I have so many okay. dice. Oh my god. Uh, okay. So, that's gonna be... Did anybody get above 25? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So many dice. Alright. So, Stu, I'm just gonna... How's that, Stu? Okay, cool. So... As you are, as you are resting, you are going to have the strangest dreams, you know. You can hear the sound of the island music in the background, and people chatting just outside of your range of perception. This strange drawl. Hey man, you hear those guys that came out last night? They did the thing with the big Uzis? Oh yeah, man, I heard about them. They're pretty good, yo. Because uh, another venture, yeah? Just outside of the range of your hearing. And as you are laying there, you realize that you are incredibly comfortable. So much so that the night's events prior to this are strange and diff distant and patchy and as you think about it it's hard to remember all you can remember is uh, that's probably not worth remembering Directly in front of you, though, you can see that there's a field of green grass. Wisps of purple flowers reaching up to the sky. You're standing in the middle of a broad field. Wind is whipping at your heels. It's a soft breeze. All around you is the unchanging, unpredictable essence of life. The music fades to nothingness around you, and those voices vanish as well. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, so I'm. You said I'm. I'm standing. Yeah, you're standing in the field, d dressed in your armor. You're wearing your normal clothing. Uh, I guess I'm going to uh, look around. Do I see 
any any landmarks, anything familiar at all? You see treetops. You're in the middle of a glade, actually. Hmm. It's about a hundred feet wide. Tall grass about up to your waist all around you. And the tree line's close. You could probably reach it if you tried. Like... Yeah. I'll, I'll start wandering over towards it. Okay. You take a few steps forward and behind you, you hear something rustle in the grass. I'll, uh, I'll grab my bow and turn around. All right. Something rustles in the grass to your left now. Uh, I'm behind you. Uh, left and right. Oh no. Um. What I do you do? guess. What do you do? I... Can I figure out? Can I see? Try and figure out what it is. Survival roll. Sure, you can go ahead. Uh, 19? 19. It's human-sized. You can see it, moving like a shadow among the among the stalks. There. Now it's there, but there's no in-between. Like, it just moves from place to place. Uh, I'm gonna try and grab it. Okay. Go ahead and make me a roll. Uh, adding anything to it? Uh, yeah, you're gonna do a melee attack roll. So whatever you would use for a non-magic weapon. Oh, okay. Uh, is that for melee attack? Would that be that would be dex, right? Uh, it'd be strength or dex for this one. Okay. Um. So I got sixteen. Sixteen. All right. Uh, surging forward, you're going to grasp a dummy. A straw man. A mirage. Your hand passes through it. It's shaped vaguely like a man. But as you grab onto it, it feels like holding a mannequin. And then your hands will pass through its its ivory form, revealing that it's made of nothing but mist. And uh Perf. Perf. Cool. Uh one moment, my friend. Uh, okay. Okay, I need you to do me a huge favor. Hit it. And I need you to make me a, uh, a will save with all your might. Oh no. Um. So uh, uh, wisdom. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, that could be worse. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Would you like to spend your inspiration on this? Oh yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do it. Okay. I'm going to grab a different dice. Sounds good. Okay. Oh, that one's way better. Um, well, okay, that'd be... 25. 25. 25 is enough for this. Oh, okay. good. So, uh, that is going to be... Uh, all right, as your hands pass through, you're going to realize the error of your ways. The, the mistake that you made, this wasn't supposed to be something in front of you. This was just a distraction. You'll know that the moment that the blade bites deep into your side and into your shoulder as thick, strong fingers covered in moss are going to grab you around the mouth and you feel a blade begin to draw across your throat. You're going to take 32 points of damage. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, however, uh, you are going to let out a scream into the hand and you are going to feel the glade vanish from around you. Uh, those of you who are still in, those of you who are asleep in the bungalow. Hmm. Can so I all of please, us. So all of you, yeah. Can I please get you all? Mm -hmm. Sorry, needed Ferris character sheet. Uh, can I get you all to make an initiative roll? Okay. Oh no. Um, I have a quick question. Are we healed back to full? How much you do we a heal? Long rest. Okay, just reminding myself because it's been a hot second for resting and rules on how many hit dice we get back from stuff and I don't know, many games. That's many been that games. Long. It has since I've actually been that injured and okay. my brain was thinking werewolf and willpower r rules. Well, you have long rest, so you're fine now. Yay! All That's right, I, I need initiative rolls off of everyone. Who got above 20? 
Me. What'd you get? 23. Okay. Uh, Farah, anybody get above? So no one else got above 20? 19. I did. 19. Okay. Malia. Farah. 18. 17. Mike, did you roll initiative? I did. Okay. Uh, so, so what did you get? I got 16. I don't know about Mike. I got eight. Okay. Uh, all right. Zeno's at the bottom. And then there is Tia. All right. Sounds good. So let me just, I lost my page when I grabbed characters. Ferris sheet. All right. So, uh, Zeno, you are going to feel springs beneath your back again. And those of you in the room are going to all awaken to the sound of Zeno yelling. Yeah. And you are going to see blood explode out of a wound at his side. Um, and uh, see his throat begin to slit like it's unzipping. The shit! <laughs> Wounds. But there's nothing here? Like, I'm going to be like Nothing looking. that you can visibly see. Oh no. That doesn't mean nothing's here, though. No, so like, I'm checking to see if they're like poison darts or something could have been like, it's a trap. Something is actively cutting into his flesh. Can I try to like, like we can see it as it's happening? You can basically, it looks like his throat's unzipping itself. Something is cutting his throat open. That's you can disgusting. see the blankets pushing down on his chest. Can I try to tackle something? You can. You can make me an attack roll with disadvantage. Oh. <laughs> well, you can't see it, so unless you have blind sight. No. And then, so what would I be adding to that? Uh, so are, are you trying to attack? You're trying to stab? What are you trying to do? I'm probably going for a stab and just like see if I can. Okay, then just make me, a, make me a normal attack with disadvantage. Don't miss. Okay, so the least of the two equal to 14. 14? All right. Uh, you are going to slash your uh, you are going to slash your dagger over mm -hmm. the bed, and you are not going to hit your target, but you are going to notice the bed squeaks as something shifts out of the way. Something is up there. Oh. Are you, you going to say or do anything? Me or anyone else? You. Mars, are you saying you're doing anything besides slashing? Bonus action or social? Like, I can't see anything, so... But it's not unheard of that, like, people could use, like, invisibility spells or yeah, something. Yeah, you've used too. invisibility before, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Where did the bed creak? Uh... Well, I mean, Zeno, it's it's just a cot, basically. So Zeno is okay. laying on a cot in the corner of the room where there were a bunch of just beds that you pulled across into this bungalow. And mm -hmm. uh, basically, it looks like something was probably on top of him and just moved out of the way to dodge your blow. I wish I had something like flower that I could just be like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're in a bungalow. Um, it's a single room dwelling uh, with all sorts of things. There is a kitchen across the room. Can I go do that? You can go. You can go run through the flower. kitchen at this point. Yeah, you can totally can go do that. Okay. Um, there are also blankets and things nearby. There are. Um, there is one oh. door and three windows, and there is an inter. No, there's an outhouse. That's not in the, an in-house. All right, uh, Malia, what do you do? You um, sudden, you wake to a start with this. Also, uh, for combat purposes, I would like you all just to remind me when the time comes. Uh, remember what your armor class is without your armor. Oh. Uh. Because I'm assuming you're not sleeping in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, boom. no. I was like, <laughs> don't assume things, Kelly, about my character. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I don't think you get your all your hit points back otherwise. <laughs> um, You know what? I basically jumped over to Xeno to like put a hand over that to stop it. Stop it from blinking. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> But would I have noticed anything about that seemed like it was actually somebody there? Uh, 
this looks you can see there's like the blankets on his chest are moving slightly they're pressing Thunder down wave. into him okay i'm on top of him so it comes out from me and pushes everything away from me and so zeno's gonna have to make a check too but well is he because i'm on top of him essentially doing this you're all sharing a square so if it's gonna hit what's on top of him then it's gonna hit him yeah okay however uh pushing both of them in a direction is probably pretty useful all right okay uh dex save failed oh uh dex dex save dex no save. it's a con save oh is it a con save my bad yeah. my bad my bad uh, so seven, fail ten. Okay. Uh, now, does that push in a direction of your choice or just in a direction? Um, so on a failed save, a creature takes two d eight thunder damage and is pushed ten feet away from me. It's a fifteen foot cube that just. <clears throat> okay, so you're rushing up to the bedside and doing that. Cool. Um, so that's does great. That hit us too, or are we further? No, away? the cube. The cube goes out. Okay, so, I just wasn't sure. So if it's we a, were. it's a cube that goes forward from you. So I mean, if. I mean, Mars is there, so... Mars ran to the kitchen. Yeah, I, okay. I'm out okay. right now. All right, so that means uh, roll me 2d8. Uh, that is... Eight damage. All right, Zeno, you take eight damage, I take eight damage. I uh, took eight damage. You took eight damage. However, uh, there is going to be a noise... Uh, because of the size of the window, you are thrown into the wall. Uh, so you are also going to take... Uh, you're going to take two more points of bludgeoning damage from the force of slamming into the wall. Cool. Uh, however, uh, the window is a half foot above where you hit. Uh, there is a shattering of glass as the thunder wave uh, explodes outward. And you can see the silhouette of a body flying through the broken glass. Like out the window? You hear something land on the ground outside lightly, and the sound of scraping boots as someone swerves to their feet. Uh, Farah, what do you do? Huh? What? She's gonna pull off her eye. Sorry, I have a siren outside. Yeah, that was me. Oh, we well, we live like it's the same siren, probably. Oh, maybe. No, we're, we're too far away for that. Ways. All right. It's little ways. So, uh, Farrah's gonna sit up bolt right in bed going, whoa, whoa, what's going on? And try to pull her eye mask off. She definitely <laughs> wears an eye mask when she sleeps around you guys. Yeah. Um, and Fair. is going to look around and try to identify the situation and is actually going to fail because she's struggling with her eye mask. <laughs> All right. Uh, there is an explosion of dust coming in through the, the window. Uh, and with that... Uh, I need... Okay, uh, there is the sound of... <laughs> as two uh, quick slashes somehow manage to miss Zeno, and um, the other one lances back towards Malia. Malia, your AC is not 20. Are, are uh, you it's sure? It's never 20. Me, Kelly? Uh, with unarmored? Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure. What, what'd you, what'd you roll? Um. Uh, what are you asking about? I, I'm, I want to make sure that you, that you, what, what did you roll to attack me? Uh. 11? That's a hit. Unarmored? Unarmored, yeah. Yeah, my AC is 4 unarmored. No, your Wait. your AC oh. is ten plus your dexterity. Oh, it's ten plus dex. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, I was I was in the middle of looking that up to be like, how the frick do you calculate that again? And I'm yeah, having, I was having it's, so it's little. It's luck. usually ten plus your dexterity. Because they don't uh, actually list that on the sheet. Yeah, know? it just says armor and dex. Yeah. I think so. Uh, so. Mayor. What? Okay. Uh, Malia, there is going to be a slash to the air, and you're going to take nine points of piercing damage. Okay. Uh, um. Shit. Can I kind of see an outline enough to uh, see it? No. Shit. Now with greater invisibility, you cannot. <laughs> yeah, fair. Well, just you'd mentioned about outline because of going through the window. Yeah, just for the cinematic of it. Okay. All right. Uh, Tia, you're up. up. Tia. Tia is waking up. Tia is going glass to and dust. Yeah. roll over and. Um, 
do her reflex when in danger, when asleep, she's going to turn into a bear. <laughs> she's kind of, she's, she's a bit grizzly in the morning. You're fun in brothels. <laughs> Get drunk, wake up in a brothel, turn into a bear. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's happened before. I'm sure the Probably bear charges. Probably she's never mentioned it. <laughs> Bears cost extra. <laughs> All right, so you turn into a bear uh, looking around. Um, you can make me a... Do you have advantage on perception in bear form? I don't think so, but okay. um, I'm pulling up the thing. I'm pulling up the thing. All right, what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out where things are because this stuff's happening and she doesn't like it. Um, it's too early for this. Bear. Agreed. Bear. bear. Wrong bear, bear. Okay, um, keen smell. Advantage on wisdom perception checks relying on smell, so yes. Uh, you can make me a perception check to see if you can locate the smell of the uh, strange blood in the air. So I wouldn't get that with, would I still get advantage or would I be at disadvantage so I'm rolling flat? Mm, you could, you can get advantage with that because it because okay. invisibility doesn't cover smell. Yay. Uh <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> uh, Thirteen. My, I rolled a five and a six. I mean, you can definitely notice that there's the smell of strange blood in the air. It smells vibrant and alive, and as if, if normal blood smells red, this smells green. Over by the window, actually, you can sense that there's something over there bleeding. Unnatural blood. The blood of the Fae. Roar! Okay. Uh, you I'm sorry, just that in that direction. Okay, you can go ahead and make me uh, attacks with disadvantage. Sweet, that's awesome. How is a... <sighs> what is that? Where's my little thing of bear? Bear oh, stats. Bear stats. Bear stat. Nope, that's the other one. You know what? I'm pretty sure it's that plus that. So it should be... Uh... Uh, mm, sorry, I haven't bared in a while. That's true, actually, you haven't. Mm-hmm. It's been a hot second. I'm pretty sure that's a thirteen. Miss. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you will lance, or you will slash out with your claws. Uh, Zeno, you are on the bed. There is something around you. What do you do? Um. Is my sword beside the bed? Yes, it is. Cool. I'm going to grab that and... Uh, uh, oh, no, I'm uh, I'm not actually at my bed. I'm up against the wall now. Under the, well, window. the bed's against the wall, yeah. So oh, you're, okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'll grab that. Um, and, and did I still hear anything outside uh, from where the thing ran out the window? Uh, like, is there any... Can I you don't see hear any, anything any... else. You don't see anything else. Well, if you glance outside real quick, you can see there's some townspeople kind of doing this. <laughs> uh, do I notice any uh, any tracks being made outside? No. Uh, you recognize there are some tracks being made inside, and Malia suddenly erupts with blood out of her shoulder. Okay, I'm going to go take a swing at that. Okay. Make me so an attack will... with disadvantage. And don't forget that you get multi-attack. Oh yeah, I get two two attacks. You get two attacks, yeah. Okay. Well, my first one, uh, and so this is gonna be my with my sword. So do 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 do. Uh, that's an unnatural twenty for the first one. On a on disadvantage. Yeah, my other one was a nat one. Oh. Okay. Um. So that's that's a shame, but oh well. That is a shame. Uh, my next one is not gonna be a hit. I don't think that's gonna be a fifteen. That's a miss. All right, roll me damage on that first one. All right, so a short sword does 1d6. 1D6. Uh, and do I add... You add your strength or your dexterity. I add my strength or my dexterity. Okay. So that's going to be six. Six? All right. Six. All right, so lashing forward twice, you are going to stab into something meaty, and you are going to feel it snake along a pair of... Um, 
pair of ribs underneath what feels like stabbing into studded leather. It's going to grind and slash, and your blade is going to come back wet with a slightly greenish black blood. Oh, uh, Almost... do I recognize? Sorry. Uh, do you recognize? Um, do I... and could... do you, ever... you can make me a um, make me a nature roll as your bonus action. Uh, that's going to be um, nature, nature, nature. That uh, unnatural one. Uh, a plant, maybe fey. Uh, there are very few things that bleed green. Maybe the fey. Probably um, the fey. Given, oh, given, um, what, given what you're seeing, probably the fey. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shout that out. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably fey. Okay. Uh, across the room, Mars, you run into the kitchen. Uh, glancing yes. around, can you make me a quick uh, perception roll to find where the flower is? How's a 22? A 22 is fantastic. You will find a big-ass bag of flour. <laughs> a 10-pound bag of flour is actually sitting right next to the oven. It's covered in dust. Doesn't look like this place has been used in quite a while. And as you pick it up, the, the lid, or pardon me, the bag will come open and you'll see all sorts of mealworms and other uh, detestables squirming around inside of the powder. Uh, what do you do? I'm going to take it. We're not going to eat this. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Are you going to just try to dump it? I'm going to like try to spread it all through the room. So even if I don't hit the thing, okay. it'll also leave imprints in the floor. Go ahead and to spread this around quickly. Thanks, mm -hmm. um, Davey. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say sleight of hand, actually. So then that's about the same anyways. I think it should be bigger than your dexterity. 10? I add 10. Yeah, I think you add 10. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a lot. That's amazing. That's 29. <laughs> okay, so you are just going to start, like, windmilling the flower around the room. Uh, and you are going to see... Um, Beautiful. You are going to see this strong, massively muscled man outlined for a moment. But here's the thing. As the flower touches down, he becomes visible and then invisible starts to flicker in the moment that the flower settles it stops working so but it keeps falling because you keep throwing it so high in the damn air so that's wonderful that's gonna give uh that's gonna give the rest of the round in partial visibility that's fantastic good job Mars. nice malia you are up and are stabbed i can see it now you can see it it's right in front of you vanish it. Okay. A creature ahead. you can see. Okay. So one moment while I do, I believe this is a, what save is this? Wisdom or charisma? charisma? What's my DC? Uh, one sec. I just have to 17. 16. Damn it. Oh, yes. oh. All right. So he vanishes out of existence. All right. And now I have to hold this. <laughs> Fair is going to like look around. Why were we, we being attacked by the Muffin Man? <laughs> what did I miss? <sighs> oh. I, I, I... Why is well, T.O. Polar not... there? So, uh, I guess I can still heal Xeno while I hold a con spell. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> so, cure wounds? Shake! <laughs> It snows. Ow. Fair is going to hide under the sheet she was laying under. <laughs> Zeno, you, can you not, not get in trouble even while you're asleep? Uh, Wait, 12 a, points. Why you know. was... Tw uh, 12? Heal 12. No. Thank you. Why was I asleep? Wait, you were asleep? Oh, Appar God, you were asleep. Apparently... Uh, How did that even him. happen? Tia shifts back down to bear, or from bear to humanoid. Back down to bear. <laughs> back down to bear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. She was a large, hairy man. She could shift from bear to bear. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was... Oh, <clears throat> what What's happened that? that I was even asleep? This the... is why I don't sleep. 
The, does, does this happen regularly when you sleep? These the, are the, also oozes. The, the, there the, was the, oozes. The, the, the wild hunt hunts elves in their sleep. But you're... That's the why elves don't sleep. Yeah. I that thought it was because you felt too to good. half elves. Oh. Mm. My dad never mentioned anything about that. Hard. Okay, well... Then again, he never really slept. Maybe That's you guys get exactly ready why. just in case he pops my banishment. Like, it's oh. not just certain. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, Zeno's gonna put his armor on. Okay, what was that? I uh, don't know, but it did banish. A, most likely a member of the Wild Hunt. Why do they care about you over here? I mean, you're only... You're... Huh. Hmm. Didn't you pay any attention to when we were in the in the Feywild? I did. I just didn't think they'd actually go after Zeno because you know he's only sort of like you know. Well, I mean, I'm happy. Yeah. They still go after him. Huh. Like, is there a limit? Like, am I in danger? I sleep all the time. Eh. You're in, you're part orc. That probably balances it out. Yeah. I hope so. Come after yeah, me. You 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 would know. You, you would know. There's a reason that I don't sleep, ever. It's because things like this can happen to you. Uh, hello? Huh? Hi there. You'll hear a voice come from outside the window. Some of the townsfolk are kind of... He's gonna go peer out. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna poke up. Uh, you'll see a man with a, uh, with a backward sun cap. Uh, dressed in a typical tunic, exposed legs. It's, it's it's the fashion down here. Very, very dark, real redneck type of uh, coloration. Uh, looks up at you, human. Y'all, y'all okay in there? I heard, yeah. I heard some commotion. Huh? Y'all all right? Oh, we got it handled. We're fine. Everything is fine. I was thinking of giving my pitchfork and helping out. Why well, are you in Thaddeus' abode? I don't know. We just need That's somewhere to sleep. A really good question, actually. Um. <clears throat> well, considering your. Oh, well, Thaddeus is long dead, there. so it's fine. You don't got oh, no kin, okay. so it's not a big deal. Uh, and besides, like Thaddeus, uh, probably would have wanted that to happen anyway. But uh, oh, you're just adventurers that came through, though, not adventured. What did yes. you say? Yeah. Oh, you y'all are heroes. Thank you so much for saving the town. My name is Kip, and uh, I just wanted to say thank you on behalf of the town, and if you are down at any of the taverns late, later tonight, I will buy you a brewski. <laughs> thank oh, you. That's what? very kind of you. Mm. Good job, heroes. And he will. Uh, Y'all don't need any healing or anything like that? No, I think we're okay. We're okay. Mm. Thinking, thank you. Thank, thanks. Hmm. Um. Uh, if you need anything, I can go get the town cleric for you. Although I hear that you already have a cleric with you. Yes. Cool. All True. right. Now, will the gods bless you and keep you and all of that stuff, and I will see you down later at the beach, maybe. We're having a crawdad party. Ooh. Goodbye. A what party? Beach barbecue, essentially. And he will okay. wander off and start talking to the people outside. Hey, everybody, it's fine. It was just a little tiff. They just uh, wrecking up Thaddeus' place. Some type of ghost they fight, and it's fine. You know how heroes be. Heroes be as they be, and they're still leaving them there. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Come down and have a crawdad party. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> I love him. He's so uh, nice. It's one, uh, part, one part Adam Sandler, one part Creole. There we go. We've done. Just oh. pull up the old Waterboy impersonations from sixth grade. Oh. Hmm. Water is better. Oh, man. What even happened last night? Ooze. Nothing. Ooze. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh Ooze. you know what? That's Memory a, oozes. That's an acceptable answer. And uh, oh, did we throw clean up all the bottles? We should put the She is gonna start tidying. Mars. <laughs> Absently. I didn't know you were a druid. Cause you've got flower power. <laughs> Ow. 
It's usually more beast power, Tia calls from the other side of the room. <laughs> You're muted, Winter. <laughs> oh no! I said, uh, I'll get a broom. I mean, nobody lives here. We just leave it like that. That's rude. There's also worms. Uh -huh. Worms yeah, are natural those. creatures. Yeah, I still don't want them in a house that belong to someone. If at least if we leave it kind of tidy, someone else can move in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll still look for a broom. Okay. Uh, yeah, you'll find one, uh, and we'll, you'll be able to tidy up pretty quickly. as much it's, as possible. It's flour, and it's kind of um, it's a pretty basic like wooden floor, so it's it's not terribly hard, except for well, the How gaps in the board. Is it? <laughs> Yes. Uh, the fact that you had a blanket on at all was pretty ridiculous. It was more of a sheet than anything just to keep the bugs off mm -hmm. you. Uh, the fact that this house has some form of I'm just wondering shelter. how moist it is. Uh, there, actually, let me roll the humidity index for today. So add 30%. Because I'm just like uh, imagining it, is, it starting to stick. Uh, it's um, a humidity index gooping. of 127. So it's turning into glue slowly. Basically, yes. Have yeah. you ever? Where Where is the southernmost that any of you have ever been in real life? Cuba. Um, I. I am. It is it Cuba without the breeze. I've been to Barbados and Hawaii. Mm, it's not Warmest. humid there. Yeah, he. Like oh Gal yeah, Galveston, Mike, Texas. Yeah. Australia rainforest. Not humid. Basically, this is basically like Elos's Florida you're in right now. Yeah, I can tell you, Galveston, Texas is the yeah. most humid place in the bloody world. My God. Um, All right. So you so guys are very, very humid. That little burst of excitement is enough that, uh, you're right, the flower is starting to glue up around you. Yeah. Oh. I don't like it. That's why Tia shook it all off immediately as bear. Just okay. So. Hey, Kelly. Yes. Um, if I sit forward here, am I too like in no. or like? No, you're fine. Close? Okay, just want to make sure because I'm moving this way for my back a little bit. That's fine. No, you're good. I okay, just want to make sure. Yep. So, so are we gonna do we? Where are we going now? Can we? Can we go? Can we get away from this place? It's I wanna... daytime here is terrible. I've decided. What's a crawdad? Um, I mini don't lobster. Know. Oh. Oh. Is this oh. just some random person's house that you found? Well, it's, yes. they said he was dead, but yes. Basically, okay, we but found it's... the closest place possible to stumble into and collapse. Yes, that wasn't covered in slime. Yes. Oh, okay. So this isn't one of those, you know, places that you can like rent out like an uh, an era D and D. I mean, I imagine they would not mind us renting it, but I think oh, they're okay. giving it to us for free. Oh, it's we. I mean, we, no one owns it. We so. are heroes. Yeah, okay. We're mm. heroes. Okay. Well, I was. I mean, not... we're heroes, but oh, yeah, you helped. You were unconscious, but are you are you hot, Mars? I'm not hot. No, I'm fine. Yeah, this is nice. I think we should stick around. This isn't bad weather. This is really nice, actually. This is. We're... I can't do anything without my skin sticking to it. Isn't, the, isn't this your natural environment? Not with this much. Moisture. I read a about more orcs. You guys, you guys come from an island. You're a humid people. I don't <laughs> know. I don't like it. Uh, maybe Where's I've the... just been in more mild temperates for too long, two generations or so. Maybe I just we, it's mm. it's we've adapted adapted to colder climates. Oh, the Malia's hair is pretty great. It's sticking up everywhere. She is going to forcibly pull it down and start braiding it and then go eh the forges are hotter we could we could go get your hair corn road i i think i'm good i can handle this stuff okay uh so what are we doing today are we going like we have that list of places like we're just gonna yeah. go to one of them did we have a like we have the list of places but did we come up with a route we want to take what's Something stunking. What's that pounding? I do not know. I was just about to ask the same thing. 
Someone hammering yeah, winter. Going in. It could be just like I live in an apartment and things mm. suck. Things make noise. All right. Yeah. <laughs> upstairs right. people, right? Upstairs, upstairs people think they're above us. <laughs> right. Uh, so what were you gonna say, Winter? You were talking, and then you got knocked. What were you gonna say? Mark's I was asking, like, did we come up with a, uh, like, some sort of route? Like, we know what the places we want to go, but, like, do we have a route on a map that would make most not sense? Specific, not specifically, I don't think. Because I would like to take a look at that and see, like, how we could best spend our time efficiently. So, I mean, w w what are we supposed to be doing? Just killing time? I think so, essentially. And searching for that other crystal. Well, we're looking for the broken ones, right? Like the other pieces yeah. of the one that you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So shouldn't we look for like giant animals and... Weird happenings? And... Um... Things turning evil inexplicably? You're, yeah. You didn't have a shard? I don't... Not that I remember Which one? you getting. The ooze that you fought? Well, that one got away. Oh. The big one got away. There were yeah. baby ones that we fought. Yeah. And yeah, that was annoying. Mm. Ugh. I, All right. I, I, well, I mean, it's not like we can't take a day here before going on. They uh, said there was a beach. They oh. did. You know, I could probably use a beach right now you could always use a beach it's it's true but right now you know with you know my neck being half open i could use not being we fixed that I, didn't we do you want me to cauterize it no thank you i don't think you want to throw that at anyone's neck uh i'm gonna i'm gonna hit myself with the cure wounds okay um, you can also short rest if you want to. Oh yeah, I guess uh, yeah, I guess we're not doing anything right now, anyways. I <laughs> so. short rest and regain my bear or wild shape forms. Mm -hmm. All right. Nine, nine. So add your con to that. All right. So okay, that's bad. All right. So here's my thought. We don't have much on us. We only have like what we brought in. So we don't we didn't even bring any like bedrolls or anything, right? Because those are back on the Duchess. Yep. So we don't really have anything that we have to worry about like leaving anywhere. No. Mm -hmm. Just us. Let's go explore and like cool, you know, do some stuff and Yeah. Uh-huh. Sounds good. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Just I mean as long as there's no more oozes, I'm 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 oozed out. I'm sure there won't be any more oozes today. Yeah, no more oozes, please. Sure. I let's let's have a day off and just have some fun. What's the worst that could happen? Exactly. That's the spirit. You had Said to ask. You had to ask. All right. A few minutes later, you find yourself strolling along the main promenade. There's a boardwalk that outlines this entire island of Island Walk. No. You are on the first island again, Sonus. As you move on to Haliel, the second island, you can see that the connection between them is these rickety walkways, these ancient rope bridges with wooden planks laid down made of bright wood like palm or pine. And as you walk across them, they swing slightly dangerously enough that you would drop a, an ice cream cone, but not so much as to, to make you sick or lose your balance. Uh, as you are walking around, you um, is there anything in particular you're looking for? Um, something interesting. Molly's gonna go look, and I don't know, like let's actually aim for a beach and go look at a beach. Go walk along that or right. something. Uh, so, find there... something, find ice cream or a drink or something to hold while walking down the beach. 
Okay. Uh, so as you're walking down, you will find um, a human man standing behind um, like a mobile cart. He's wearing a big straw hat and a bright garish tunic made of pink fabric with big palm trees stitched into it. He smiles at you. He's bald. His head is all um, greased up pretty much right through his T-zone uh, with some type of uh, viscous white substance. Looks like a sunblock, maybe. Uh, and uh, smiles gap-toothedly at you. Howdy, y'all. How y'all doing today? Good. We are not covered in ooze any longer. This is good. Ah, well, uh, very you good. might... You might... Oh, y'all are the ones who rescued everybody from them big oozy doozies. Yeah, the, that, that doozy. was interesting, and we figured we'd stick yeah. around a little while and check out your island, and... Well, hell, I'll give you a discount. I'm selling oh. fresh drinks here made from pineapple and Ooh. a little hint of lemon uh, and some coconut milk. It's fantastic. Uh, I will be happy to sell you one each for just one little shiny silvery coin each. Sounds sure. fantastic. Thank I'll, you. I will shell out for everyone right. who wants one. I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure it's still overpriced, but <laughs> it is. It's very overpriced. <laughs> he is straight up just gonna hand over like five silver and be like, "Here you go." <laughs> uh, Y'all want that iced, or do you want that just, yes. just straight out the nut? Okay. Uh, and speaking of speaking of, of that, y'all aren't from around these parts, are you? No. 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 Uh, just one moment. He starts shaking a coconut very, very violently with a bunch of juices inside of it. <laughs> and then he's going to pour out about a, about a 10 ounce cup of pineapple coconut, kind of like a, a slightly frothy pina colada with a little bit of lemon in it. Well, uh, I also have, I've been working on one with citrus right now. Uh, well, my name's Julius, and I'm really happy to have you here today. Uh, have you considered purchasing some sunscreen? Y'all have a bit of a tan, but... And he's going to roll up his sleeve, and you're going to basically be blinded by the sheer brilliance of the ivory skin above the sleeve. And <laughs> for a moment there, beneath it, he was the color of tanned leather. You all have a decent, probably, base coat tan, uh, with the exception of uh, Tia and Mars. Probably have a good base coat tan from your time in Opesh. Yes, please. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you head over to that store over there. Uh, my cousin works there. He'll help you out. That's the um, that's the X Y Z. All right. There's one of these on every island. It's uh, you'll love it. The best emporium possible. I see. Uh, no X Y Z. You got to learn how to spell. <laughs> then again, they're they're human letters. So, like, I, I don't know what tour they, tour. they do some weird ass right. lettering, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we based it off your alphabet, didn't we? Yeah, but you guys went and spelled however you felt like it. Well, I mean, some of us do. I mean, <laughs> you, you got to admit, like, remember, you're still on the on the Toulousian side of Island Walk. Once you're over in the Arginian side, things get real weird. They add G's in places and N's and lots of E's and those little doodichy, the, the the little hatch markies. Weird and they have stuff. big arguments. When I want to go into a foyer, I'm going to go into a foyer. I'm not going to go into a foyer. That's but fair. it's foyer. Mali is just going to humor the fuck out of this because it's hilarious. Son... I respect where you come from and your people's customs. <laughs> but you're in Toulouse. Yeah. Speak like a Toulousian. I don't speak Arginian. I speak Toulousian. I'm from Toulouse. Where in Toulouse do they say foyer? Uh, the Elven Alice's. Hearts. Well, hell, if you live in a palace, you ain't a real Toulousian anyway. We live in a republic. We are in a federation here. All right. Can we leave yet? I mean... Are you saying that in character? Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, y'all. Did we somewhere we were trying to go? Uh, yeah, you're going are to that, sh that shop yeah. right there with the thatched roof. Yeah. 
yeah, we need to get this Have a good time and enjoy your coconuts. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. He is speed walking towards it. All right. Uh, Holly is just grinning. All right. That was amusing. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so uh, as you walk into the, uh, are you heading over to the XYZ? Yeah. Yeah. So the XYZ is a large thatched hut that kind of looks like it was built out of palm fronds. That's fantastic. Uh, it's definitely aesthetically so, um, but it seems to be structurally secure. And if and once you're inside, you can see that there are uh, palm wood beams holding it up, and it actually has a solid frame underneath, as well as it appears to be um, very breathable, but otherwise watertight, you'd imagine. And there are rows upon rows of like tourist merchandise, lots of it actually, as well as uh, several cabinets in the back that are covered in different snacks and drinks and all of that. And uh, as you enter, uh, the doors will just kind of swing open in front of you as you approach. Sheek. Nice. And on... Hi there. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Welcome Hello. to the XYZ. Uh, if I can get anything for you, please let me know. You hear a voice come from behind the main counter that spreads along the, uh, the left side or directly ahead of you. But you don't see anybody. And then you'll hear a grinding of wood on wood. And you'll see a top knot come into view. Hmm. Maybe someone's restocking under the bar or something. Or under the under the till. And then a moment later, you will see a neck and a head and a pair of shoulders uh, emerge. And uh, there will be a halfling is going to step up. About just under four feet tall. Uh, nice. This halfling is wearing a kind of shiny cotton bikini uh, and is going to turn and smile at you. Um, She's very tanned. Her eyes are sparkly green. Uh, Hair is brown and pulled back into a long flowing ponytail that is probably past her waist. Probably to her ankles if she lets it down. Uh, And uh, she is going to finish stalking something on on the till. And as she turns around, you are going to uh, see that she is... um, uh, both uh, gap-toothed just like the guy outside uh, and also amazingly vivacious. Hmm. This is the most stacked halfling you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> She's like normal size, but not. Hey. I don't know why that's important, but I rolled it, so it's it's a thing. <laughs> Randomizers are great. I was like, roll. Um, like, surprisingly attractive was one of my criteria. Me- okay, because I was like, did you just roll her measurements? I think it's just, I think it's just like 34, 36 or something like that, but it's on someone who's half the size. Right? So it's like, like Dolly Parton curves on a halfling, right? <laughs> <laughs> So she'll smile kind of gap toothedly at you. Y'all need anything, y'all just let me know, alright? Welcome to the XYZ. Yeah, um that fellow with the, oh, the drinks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh he recommended sunscreen. We've never been here before, so Absolutely. Now you're are Is you it... a mountain dwarf or a hill dwarf? Hill. Alright, so you don't need quite as big of a sun protection factor. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am, what can I do for you? You were you were speaking? I was wondering how that was for orc skin. I mean, orcs green. are... How's it with the green? I mean, usually I were pretty fine, but I just um, Yeah, uh, You ever curious. have sunburn? No. Honestly, what I would say, and she's gonna, like, go down her little step stool, <laughs> walk around the bar, <laughs> And walk over to you and, like, gonna reach up and, like... Are you wearing pants? Yeah. Okay. She's gonna reach up and kind of grab you by the hand gently and kind of look at your skin. That's a lovely shade of green. Um, um thanks. Mm, well, if you want to darken it at all, um, what I would suggest is over here. Uh, so, uh, our, our local alchemist, 
uh, Zabu, uh, says that uh, for darker skins, particularly ones with any orcish in them or trollish or anything like that, what y'all should do is you should use one with a minor SPF factor just in case, because just because you tend to be resistant to damage from the sun does not mean you are immune to it. It just means it's probably harder to detect once you actually have anything happening. Uh, Sounds legitimate. What is the... What does SPF stand for here? S um, uh, sun Protection Force. Ah. Oh. Basically, huh. it, it's a membranous layer that you put on your skin to protect you from harmful damage from the sun. Mm-hmm. You know what? If it will help me not suffer as much from this humidity, then sure. Sure, it's made out of coconut butter and shea butter and um, uh, a hey. little a little bit of marmot oil. Sure, Sounds why not? Let's do it. Yeah, right. I'll give it a try. Okay, cool. And uh, and for you, uh, might I address? And she's gonna sway it, wave her hand to the shelf for elves. <laughs> the shelf for elves. The elf shelf. The elf shelf. Uh, and as she turns and looks at. Farah, she'll probably also waver to the elf shelf just out of assumption because of the ears. Uh, mm. And then he's going to turn to Mars and go, uh, the alcohol cabinet is over <laughs> in the back. That might be more to your taste. I don't think there's anything for you right here. You're probably fine. <laughs> Although, uh, if y'all are going down to the beach, we do have a number of uh, swimsuits, tankinis, uh, bikinis, swim trunks, and um, uh, flotation toys. Sounds good. Sure, sure. let's take a look. Why not? Oh. We're on vacation, right? Vacation. And not on a cruise in the desert. So. Well, Z Zeno's going to also uh, hunt for a new, like, uh, a new graphic tee. Okay. Because he's a, a t-shirt collector now, apparently. Apparently. So here's a question. Does Zeno wear Speedos or does he wear, like, swim trunks? Oh, he'll wear, he'll wear swim trunks. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you'll find a shirt that says on island walkabout yeah there if, we go that sounds it um, was there a time where we would have crossed like ocean water previously like no, in game uh, no you teleported not really I mean uh, only when we were fished out of the ocean that wasn't really vacation yeah, so not, not willingly no yeah so like that would have been the first time coming in contact with that but like being at a beach is probably new to her okay because she came from like countryside, like mm -hmm. middle of country, so may know like lakes and rivers, but not ocean, ocean like this. So she doesn't know what to expect. Yeah, she is in a similar boat. She's just heard things. She's heard mm -hmm. stories. The soldiers talk. Zeno, <laughs> Zeno is gonna gonna and direct. Zeno talks. Yeah, Zeno is gonna direct Mars over to over to the the swimwear. So, like she's also like imagine like fishing, so she can't like see how. Like a ba why would you wear a bathing suit to go fishing? <laughs> Do you say that out loud? Yeah. Yo, honey, we're not going fishing. So why are we going down to like a pier? We're not going to a pier. What? We're going but to a beach. To relax. To lay in the sun. To eat good food and drink. They have a bookshelf. A fiction is going to yeah. run across and start like picking through this like rotating rack of paperback novels they have. <laughs> Do you recognize any of the ty any of the things? No, but they have. Look at this cover, and <laughs> she's going to hold up one of them, and you'll see that the cover is a um, a painted picture of a woman. Like a you know like flowing hair doing the like the butt like a bust ripper, yeah you know a bodice ripper, <laughs> um, being spooned by a dragonborn, and it's called the companion with wings. Yeah. Like there's a lot of these here. Like, are dragons sexy? Are dragonborn sexy? Apparently, I mean sort of sometimes. Was the Baron sexy? Oh, you know, I was just gonna look at Tia. Sorry, what? Hmm. She's Bane flipping of... through different 
books. <laughs> Officers and Humans, Construction of the Banished, Taste of the Maze. Mm. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Changeling of the Rainbows, the Goddess of Bliss. Ooh. Um, let's see. Uh, Destiny of Silver, um, Kiss of Lust. It's a little derivative. Ooh, I like that one. Gotta take that. Yeah, go ahead. Here. Um, let's see. Wives of the Night. Spider yeah. without courage. Uh, enter the animals. Oh, I'd rather not. Um, <laughs> the ones that she's like passing behind her. And Mars is just. <laughs> Heroes and lions. Illusions in the garden. Girl of light. Fantasy in my country. The priest of the owls. Faith of hope. Bravery from the depths. And yes, lo- oh, oh, Mars, 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 Mars. What? 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 what, what? She's just going to turn... She's just going to hand you a book. Glancing down at it. Are you checking the cover or are you reading the back first? Cover. Uh, It is a picture of an incredibly handsome, red-skinned, devil-looking man. Basically just, like, painted in where the dragonborn was in the previous one. Mm. But it's got, like, flames on the bottom, and the title is Loved by Hell. (laughs) The little blurb on the back is... When Asmodeus, Prince of Darkness, is summoned <laughs> to a lonely housewife's house. <laughs> Perhaps she'll get more than she bargained for while her husband is away at war. You might okay, have thought, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's getting a little warm now. Whew. They even have a young a young adult series. Ugh, no. <laughs> Ooh, this one's about time travel. Hmm. <laughs> Impossible. Are you sure? Yeah, it's magically impossible. Even the gods don't do time travel. Maybe they just choose not to because it's a really bad idea. It's impossible. I mean, finding a dragon encased in amber was something I thought was impossible. Yeah, we'll read a novel about it. I'm going to take it anyway. Uh, She's going to grab... Yes. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, She's going to grab 10 books. um, So what kind of, like, swim... Like, swim shorts do they have here? (laughs) Like, like, like getting... You know, like, what kind of... What kind of style? What what do they look like here? Uh, So they've got the short shorts, they've got the the speedos, and they've got board shorts. The board shorts uh, range in various gaudy colors, usually with kind of, like, a Hawaiian print theme. Although, you will find some. uh, So, one moment... Uh, you will find uh, there are four patterns that are not just like palm fronds and things like that. Uh, You'll find one that has little chibi-style nightmares on them. So nightmares being horses with flaming hooves and hair. Uh, You'll find uh, one with a bunch of kenku on it. One with a bunch of chicken-shaped griffins. And also... Uh, you are going to find... Oh, God, this is the worst store. Uh, you are going to find one set of pink shorts, kind of like a like a, like a a hot pit, like this, but a little brighter, um, covered in different sizes, shape, and color beholder patterns. <laughs> so, okay, so... Right as you're... You're using the eye of the beholder. <laughs> so right as, you know, right as Farrah is picking out the books... Mm. Um, I'm assuming there's like a, a there's like a change room. There's basically one of those uh, changing shower curtain areas, like the little cubicles that you just whip a shower curtain around. Okay, so like right, so right at that at that moment, uh, there's the sound of of you know the shower curtain opening, and Zeno sta- <laughs> Zeno standing there in these bright pink shorts with beholders on them and a and a shirt. And, and and his his Hawaiian shirt, and he's just like, boom, baby, <laughs> beach time. Let's go. Um. Okay. Yeah. 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 Bikini time. Yeah, I'm buying. Well, in that case, <laughs> Farah grabs two more books. <laughs> All right. Uh, Malia will this? totally get dressed in a in a, like a bikini then. Okay. He's gonna also go find a bikini. It's is anybody else wearing? Is anybody wearing silly bikinis? Or are you going for the fancy ones? I'm going for fancy. You know, buying. Uh, I roll a die and see what one I might like find. 
Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, Do you want like I a fancy... percentage die? Yeah, or... Roll me a percent. Roll me percentages. Okay. So to find what fits you. Uh, I rolled a forty-seven. 47. All right. Uh, so there are five different ones that, that fit you. Some of them are there. There's the typical, like, typical little black bikini. There's also a one piece with a with a neck tie around, like the kind that has like mostly exposed. Yeah, it's basically it's like a yeah, it's like a halter top. Um, the back is almost completely open. <laughs> um, and uh, there is a little blue bikini, a little robin's egg blue bikini. Um, Huge. That would work. You and Fair are about the same size, so I'm just going to list both for both of you on this one. Okay. Uh, there is a there's a white kind of uh, spandexy one piece. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's pretty cute. It's got a bow on it, like mm-hmm. right on the butt. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a uh, there is one with a pattern on it. Uh, <laughs> that is a pattern of a. Uh, it is a pattern of a bunch of little. One moment, I gotta find something particularly beachish. Are there any with sharks on them? Yeah, there are plenty with sharks on them. Um, nice. You will. Uh, so there's definitely going to be like a bunch with sharks on them, and a bunch of shirts with sharks on them. Uh, you are going to see one. Th- it's basically got like kind of like a spiny dragon turtle as the pattern of that one, uh, and then you will find at the very bottom a. Ooh, it's technically a one piece. <laughs> Uh, it is a spaghetti thong one piece in dark blushing crimson. Like that crimson that's like mm, maybe crimson's the wrong shade. Uh, that red black shade that looks, <laughs> looks almost like burning blood. Mm. Um, and this one basically functions as a bikini um and a one piece at the same time because it's 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 so strappy it's basically oh, no. st- it's strings and eye patches it's oh, the nice. mankini isn't it no this is the this this is like the hentai special oh okay <laughs> this is like you're wearing two eye patches and uh, you know what three eye patches it's my kids but she'll look at it and be like does the and- color clash with my skin tone though no, it's fantastic. Pretty dark. Farrah, that blue would look so good on you. The blue and gold is killer. That is very cute. Okay, sure. <laughs> but only uh, because my tail come. Are people going to look at me weird because of the tail? No. I normally don't have it out. It's normally under my coat. No, it's going to just add to it. Make it better. Okay. Sure. Sure, not a big deal. Uh, hey Kelly, do you remember what the other shorts were? There were Chibi Nightmares, Chicken Griffins, Pink Beholders. <laughs> pink Beholders, Purple uh, Horseshoes. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, I love uh, this. There are plenty of mankinis, all Ranger. Uh, can you um, <laughs> can you forward me a picture of what my bikini looks like? Uh, yeah, I'll have I kind of want to. Wanna, I want to draw the beach episode. If you can like keep a note of what everyone gets, I really want to like draw this. So everybody, you are responsible for writing down what you're wearing. So, Kelly, do you remember the, that, that picture you sent me the other day of that half orc? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just imagining that honestly, that kind of outfit with fewer like actual buckles. So remember? Mars, I'm sending you a an exaggerated, like a bigger version of what you have right now. <laughs> uh, Where are you sending it on? I'm going to put it in the generic chat. Okay. So I'm thinking th- technically that's not a one piece. <laughs> there's probably, you know what? There's probably a mesh. I'm thinking that it's a one piece because there's like a fishnet mesh. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I'm just imagining, yeah, like that or just like it's straps everywhere. Mm-hmm. You could do that too. Oh, it, it, yes. You You know what? Um, <laughs> hold on. So sexy... <laughs> Strap <laughs> bikini. She's got a nice booty though. That's yeah, she, she do. This she great. do. Uh oh, maybe it's that actually. Oh my god. <laughs> I found I found what Mally is probably gonna wear. 
Really? Like, have you ever seen that show called uh, Pantene Stalking with Garter Belt, but the demons from it? <laughs> I imagine so, what they're wearing. Let me so, see if I can find that for you. So, Malia, there are... So, the uh, the blue bikini set that Farrah has is actually a slightly tasseled one, so it's a little fringed. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, so, she's going to have that in blue. Uh, and then you're going to have your shorts. Uh, Malia, when you are looking around, you and Tia are roughly the same size in chest and, like, hips. Mm-hmm. Um, so there are... Uh, there are three uh, in your style. Number one is a bikini with lace-up sides and front. Okay. okay. Kind of looks like that. Mostly just, like, the bodice. Okay. With, uh, it has shoulders, which is a little weird. But that's kind of... That's a very dwarven kind of bikini outfit, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, alternatively, there is this much more risque number that has a full lace-up bodice. <laughs> and bottom. Mm. But a full lace-up bodice. Is it in, like, a lovely royal blue with gold accents? Uh, why, it just so happens to be, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Malia will okay. totally wear that. Uh, and then the last one is one piece B one piece swimsuit. I was just about to get a bunch of pictures of Monkey to Luffy. Okay. Well, uh, I... <laughs> so um, just just so that it's it's obvious uh, what I was referring to originally before I managed to find all the right ones that is kind of what i was thinking for mars's originally oh, my God. oh yeah i could see that yeah right. like the the stripiness and like the how it's like all pieces but it still is like held together but, mm -hmm. but just it's ridiculous barely. it's yeah, like it's why is this a wild. thing yeah so like take that and then the reference photos that i sent you from pg psg and kind of put those together uh and then the last one is going to be a simple one piece with a single shoulder strap coming up over the right breast and over the shoulder. Kind of like this. Very, Very classy. elegant. Very classy. Which just, it seems like a Tia outfit to me. I don't know why. Mm. Did you see the one I sent in chat, though? In the chat? Yeah, check um, out the chat. Messenger. Jelly. Which Jelly. One? Kelly, Jelly. check out the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like just like the orc I sent you earlier? Basically like that, except that like make it a swimsuit, which is very easy. You just remove some of those accents. And it's yeah, like, is it going to be short? Is it going to be simple. shorts or a shorts, shorts. or okay, it's so it's like shorts. shorts. Yeah. Oh, is, is it shorts or is it a uh, a swim skirt? No, it's shorts. Okay. Yeah, it's All shorts. right. So kind of a it's, leathery. She, she got some muscles. So it's great. Boop. So that kind of look more or less. That's such a by great way, this, picture. By this the way, artist, this art, I need to find out who this artist is because is they're phenomenal. This? And I, I don't know. I need them. I just found it Dude. on Pinterest. So um, I want so to commission good. them for, for some art because they're great. So much. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, they all are, or y'all are going to go and purchase various things. Uh, Farrah's <laughs> going to buy a sun hat because of course. Obviously. That's what she do. Uh, and there is going to be a number of drinks nearby. Uh, so there are soft fizzing drinks made from natural carbonated springs here. Uh, there is um, there's cobalt cola. <laughs> there's phantom. Ah. Uh, there's pixie, which is like a lemon lime thing. Uh, then there is there's root beer because there's root beer everywhere. Uh, uh, so there's orcs root beer. And then uh, there's SNS root beer, uh, which strangely has the logo of Sally and Sylvester, or the Sally and the SNS in same in or same uh, ah. same logo. Um, Interesting. And then you will also find there is uh, what's the last one? Um, oh, uh, Mage's Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> or sorry, Mage's Salt. Mage's Salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Legally distinct, Mage's Salt. Uh, so, I literally had the same thought right before you said it. I was like, would it be Alchemist Alchemist Salt? I feel like Mage is probably better. No, I like it. 
yeah. Anyway, so there's lots of pops and things like that. You'll also find that there's um, there's also um, uh, Azrael's hard limeade. There's all sorts of just like lightly alcoholic spritzers. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. My camera's out of focus. Oh no! Hold on. I held up a picture and it thought that was the person. That's true. We focused mm. on them. <laughs> Also, you should check what I put in the Zoom chat. Oh god. At some oh, point, no. it's fine. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's, it's pretty great. Your your novel idea? Yeah. Okay, someone actually needs to write it now. Amy. Not Ed, naming any Amy's. Ed, Edward and Victor. Romance ventured everything. It had gone in Viceland. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Least likely to bang in that entire party. Which is the point? <laughs> Which is why you ship them. Romance ventured everything gained. Salacious and titillating story of romance between a great wizard and his celestial party member. All right. So with that, you are going to be able to to purchase all of that. Um, you got, getting any drinks or anything else out of there? Uh, oh, yeah. we're yeah. getting getting loaded a with, lot of with all of their. With all their like um, hard limeades. Yeah, right, that sounds. That, sounds uh, that actually all, sounds so good. All it's in all, it's going to cost you forty-six gold pieces. That sounds good. Done. It's quite expensive, but those are designer brands. <laughs> uh, like that's. Uh, what is that? That's uh, Dingo and Griffin. Uh, that one is is Hugo Lord. Um, <laughs> that is um, Thomas Klein. And that one is. Um, you should have one called like uh, Sulfco. Sulfco, Sofco. Sulfco. Yeah. Yeah, something like that yeah. because like Swimco, but not. Sofco. I mean, she's the goddess of the waves, or god of the waves. That's true. So, all right. Uh, so the incredibly bouncy halfling uh, will. Uh... All right, that's gonna be forty-six gold coins. Y'all are y'all are purchasing a lot. Here to have fun. Um, have... Day didn't start good. So we're having a good time now. Well, thank you all for coming here. Really appreciate it. Uh, so, uh, you're going to pay? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, so, yeah, she'll happily take your money. And uh, so y'all are going down to the beach. There's going to, My cousin's doing a, um, a crawdad cook-off tonight. Uh, you're welcome to join us. It should be around, uh, around 4 p.m. About 4th sounds, Bell. Sounds fantastic. Mm. Uh, this is a different cousin. <laughs> we're all pretty related down here. Hmm. Oh, fair. Hmm. Uh. Big family. Now, excuse me, miss. Uh, she glances over at Malia. Yes. Do y'all need any help getting into that swimsuit? It's a. It's a bit of a lace-up. It's a, a bit of a tricky number. I've got the same one. Sure. Uh. <laughs> Let's go over to the change room then. Uh, so if you want to head, I don't think I've ever put one like this on before. So if y'all want to head down, the best beach is just right out this door. You head straight down, and when you see um, some some umbrellas, uh, you know you found the right place. Fantastic. Are we expecting it to rain? Oh, not today. Why umbrellas? To keep the sun off you if you ain't interested and just want to listen to the waves. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh, I forgot to get towels. There's towels here, right? We need to get towels. Uh, sure. That'll be uh, that'll be two more gold coins, and, the, and uh, that'll be five towels. Tia will pick out like the most obnoxious beach towels she can find. Yep, and they are all printed and kitschy. And welcome to Island Walk. Yeah. And then there's Amazing. like one with like a guy like giving a thumbs up, but his entire upper body is just a shark having eaten him. Yeah, like that's the one, one Zeno is gonna get. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. And then there's another one that's just a Koatoa giving a thumbs up, but from like this high up, it's an orc having eaten him. I remember the Koatoa. I like that one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so, um, yeah, just go pick out what you want uh, and come on. And she'll take you into the change room. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you, well, do you want one of us to wait for you? Yeah, I'm sure it's I'll fly on my way. Okay. Okay. Let's go then. Um, and uh, she'll help you get changed. Sweet. Nice. She'll help lace up the back. You have such nice skin. Oh, thank you. 
It generally doesn't see the sun very often. I wear armor all the time. I know, those tan lines are pretty sexy. I mean, are you sure they end at my wrists? <laughs> Nolly will happily let that happen. Oh, yeah. She'll, she'll make out with you in the change room. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it has been a long time since she's had the opportunity, and Cadmus was not acting interested so like honestly like she's very very attractive for a uh for a halfling and uh the hairy feet don't even bug you no i mean she's also my size yeah she's actually shorter than you you get to feel you get to feel strong and powerful Ooh, that's kind of cool you got like four Not inches that Mally doesn't it. already feel like that all the time but <laughs> that's true oh um, yeah no she'll totally make out with you for a bit all right and then someone's gonna walk into the store after about two or three minutes of that If y'all are around tonight, give me a call. Um, Miko, by the way. Nice to meet you. That's cute. Malia. And she'll head off back down to the beach then. All right. Uh, and with that, you will go down to the beach and see that everyone has changed into their various outfits. And as you are lounging around on the beach, you find the perfect place. The island music begins to swell around you again, and all you can hear is the sound of the crashing waves, the music, and people having just quiet, idle chit-chat in the distance. Nice. Kelly? Yes? Uh, is there any surfing going on? <laughs> Ooh. Click the wrong button. One sec. Uh, yes, there is. Uh, Zeno is gonna... Uh, Zeno wants to go get a surfing lesson. Okay. All right. So um, as you walk down, there is uh, there are a bunch of kids surfing. Uh, <laughs> overall, this place, you all are getting the sense that this place is actually fairly desperate for money. The surfboards are fairly well used and old. They're not the kind that were being sold in the shop. The kids are wearing less bright, garish outfits, usually very sun bleached, uh, or they're not wearing anything at all. A lot of a lot of young kids running around completely in the in the buff, you know. Uh, teenagers just walking around in shorts or whatever, like very basic clothing that they need to cover. It's too hot down here anyway, even this time of year. As you approach, there is a tall. Ooh, actually, there is a tall human man uh, who is standing there. Um, he has a goatee and mustache. His hair is kind of uh, about chin length. And he's watching from the, the edge of the shore. Very dark hair, very dark featured. He's in his somewhere between 30 and 50. It's one of those guys where it's impossible to tell. He's wearing smoked glasses to block out the sun and is looking into the water. That's good. You need to lean back a bit. Be sure to find your balance. <laughs> How can I help you, my friend? He says what are, they, what, what, what are they doing out there on the boards? Uh, they are doing what is called conquering soft's waves. They are softing. How do I well, learn how to do that? That looks like fun. I just happen to be a teacher of surfing. Surfing being the, the human translation of softing from the original elven. Uh, oh. If you'd like to learn, I can teach you right now. But you have to prove that you are willing to submit to my <laughs> tutelage by answering me three questions. And? Cats or dogs? Dogs. Red or blue? Red. What is the meaning of life? Fun. You can grab that spare board over there. Your training <laughs> begins now. <laughs> My name is Cool Breeze coming over the mountains. I'm Zeno. You can call me Kubu. Kubu. Okay. Now grab that and let's start your training on a whole new world of athletic prowess sounds good all right 
Kubu. <laughs> Kubu. The, the Surf Lord. Okay. Yeah, you he's... Want you want me to so, make a uh, make a roll? I want you to make me an athletics roll or an <laughs> athletics check uh, to start to learn this. I feel like surfing would, depending on what you're using it for, would either be athletics or it would actually be its own vehicle specialization. <laughs> well, because like the Polynesian yeah. Islanders used it to travel between islands and like oh, yeah. do like raiding parties and stuff. If I'm not mistaken, right? So yeah, badass, like super badass stuff. But like for doing it for funs, athletics. Um, that's gonna be an 18. All right, so he guides you through it. Uh, his teaching role is a 26. Wow, so, okay. So yeah, you are going to have a great time learning how to surf, catching the waves. You're gonna, uh, and uh, as you're doing it, holy shit. Um, <laughs> you are doing great. Very good, Zeno. You have found your inner surfer. But if you must continue to surf, you must remember that the waves are inside of you. Follow the example of my greatest student, Marissa. And he holds a hand up to a six-year-old girl who's standing there looking at you with tightly kinked black hair and with just like, like, just like the biggest smile across, across her face. Hi. Feel the waves, dude. <laughs> I'm feeling the waves, dude. Uh, she got a nat 20 on her surfing roll. This little Hearing six year old is. Crabs. She is just shredding it out there. Yep. You cannot compete. No. You cannot compete with her. You're beating the rest of the students. Like all nice. the middle aged dudes that have come out are, are totally getting wasted by you. Bruh. <laughs> all right. So you have a good surfing lesson. Uh, those of you who are back on the beach, um, so Farah has laid out her blanket and is laying down reading. Her. Her skin is lost a lot of its original kind of tanned complexion since she's left the amber. Uh, out here, she's actually quite a lot paler than she used to be from, you know, a year of traveling indoors and wearing skirts and things like that. Uh, but you'll notice that at most of her joints, at any point there would be like a, a bony protrusion. Um, there's flecks of gold scaling kind of pushing through the skin. Uh, and... Yeah, actually, you know what? You guys have taken baths with her and have seen her naked, so you know you know this. This isn't really much of a change. Um, her tail is quite long and muscular and is kind of... Um, takes a few minutes for her to find the right place as she kind of digs her ass around in the sand, with the, <laughs> like trying to push the uh, push the sand aside to find the right spot. <laughs> but with her uh, feeling like paler and stuff, it's not like she looks sickly, right? No, she doesn't look sickly. She just looks like she's lost a lot of the coloration. So she's going to slather on a decent amount of the sunscreen just in case. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, but is wearing the little cute bikini mm -hmm. and uh, the sun hat and looks pretty adorable. She is going to start reading um, a book called Bane of Joy. <laughs> which looks like it's a story about a woman who falls in love with a Balrog. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sounds kind of meh. I sure might like it. That's, that sounds like the kind of book you'd read sitting on a tropical beach. What do you mean, meh? Have you read the back cover of this, Malia? <laughs> he dug too deeply and too greedily into her. <laughs> I, I'm going to give her a look. I mean... And then, like, look at Zeno. But then look back generally, at her. Generally, like, you don't really want to I don't feel like surfing. He is turning like a weird shade of dark green of like, what is that? What are you reading? <laughs> Zeno, roll me an athletic check. You got it. You know what? That game they're playing over there looks fun. She's going to go and volleyball. try and see if there's beach volleyball. <laughs> there is beach volleyball. <laughs> of course there is. That was a 16 no, on my athletics, by the way. Okay. Sounds good. So you're going to do really well. Nice. It's only, it's only fun if he falls, by the way, Mars. Uh. I was, I was gonna go see if I could play beach volleyball no, come too. Come on, I, yeah. My all right, so you no, you're, I need another person on my team. Come oh, on. Okay. You're physically right. dragging you into this. Uh, so the two people that are there are, uh, there are two, okay. I was trying not to make this joke, but I rolled this joke on my table. Oh my, is it Tom Cruise? There are two guys out there who are definitely together, but trying not to be super obvious about it. You know, 
wearing trunks. They're, they're topless. They're in that kind of like 80s fit type of look where there's not too much muscle, but they're pretty toned, you know? One of them's wearing smoked glasses and has like floppy hair and a kind of smile. And the other one uh, looks like Val Kilmer. I don't know. <laughs> and they're out there like just kind of doing some warm ups and like joshing around in a nice 80s way with lots of like throwing their arms over each other. And it's totally not like that unless nobody's not- looking. They're still embarrassed oh. about it. They're new. Hmm. Do you challenge them to a, uh... Let's just have some friendly beach fun. Me and my partner yeah. against you and your partner. A well, partner? Yeah, teammate. Yeah, absolutely. That's right, Frosty. Uh, <laughs> um, so, I'm Renegade, and this is my partner, Frosty. <laughs> Tia and Mars. Nice to meet you. We're Griffin Riders. Coming down from Talus. We call me Top Claw. Uh, nothing ventured from. Uh, no, I haven't heard of you. Are you members of the? Uh, mm-hmm. Are you? You're adventurers, right? From the yeah. Adventurers Guild. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic! That's fantastic! I love it. We're gonna have a great game. I hope so. Uh, do you do paper, rock, scissors? You mean rock, paper, scissors? I guess it depends on where you're from, but yeah. Yeah? Let's go see who goes first. Who has the first serve? Come on, let's do it. Let's do it right now. Come on. Oh, One, two, three. Oh, heck. Oh, damn, I lost. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. We're going to have fun. Sorry. <laughs> I think I'm killing Mike with my Tom Cruise. Wow. You don't think this guy blinks? Also, you're pretty sure there are a number of arcane... Or was that? This is mildly terrifying. <laughs> so amped. Always right. win with the scissors. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. You sound like some girls I know who were the Griffin Riders. All right, uh, so what scissors? I want you... Hmm? Yeah, what are we doing? Uh, what I want you both to do is we're going to do three... Uh, three competitions. We're basically going to do athletics checks. Okay. Uh-uh. Uh, so, chat, Mike, anybody who wants to, what do you think their bonus to athletics is? The top claw crew. Um, claw. like, a lot. <laughs> like, all- it, like, these guys, um, like, like I'm, you know, even though if they don't I'm going to give them like, a plus, plus eight. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd say, because these guys are probably, like, ripped without actually looking that ripped. Okay, so plus eight and plus eight. Oh my god. Okay, what'd you get on the first one? We're basically we're gonna do three rounds of rolls and we're gonna okay. tally who wins each one. Okay. Seventeen on my first one. Thirteen. Okay. Uh right. So uh the first round you're gonna do pretty good, but one triumphant spike from Frosty with a Nat 20 is going to take that round as you die for it and try to scoop it up out of the way. You're just gonna barely miss it because he spikes it in such a way that it actually swerves midair like it's from a sports anime. <laughs> wow. All right, the next round. Mm-hmm. Okay. Athletics checks, what do you got? <laughs> You can't spend your that's inspirations. A, I'm, I don't need to, I don't think, because that's okay. going to be a 26. A 26? Okay. Ooh. And Mars, uh, what'd you get? Seven. Total? Okay. I don't add anything to it because my, like, FLX is zero. Do you have any strength? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah what's do your you strength? Have any, do you have strength? Second. Like, is it plus, is it just a zero on your strength, is or is it like a plus one? Just a zero. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Makes All sense. Right, you so, do use more uh, dexterity anyway. Uh, so, it's going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between Tia and uh, Frosty for quite a while. Uh, and then Frosty, Frostman's going to set up a uh, an overhead that Renegade is going to slam down that's actually going to knock you on your butt, Mars. Uh, oh, no. All right, come on. Winner take all. Winner take all. We can do this one more time. Come on. Spending my inspiration on this one. All right. Me too. Oh, do it. That's do embarrassing. It. That was a 27. A Matt 27? 20. 
Not 20. Um, oh, so back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The ball flies between Frostman and Tia. You've seen this exact move before. Biff, 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 biff. You ready? I am, partner. Let's do it. <laughs> partner? You know what I mean. Yeah, I know. Biff, 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 biff. And then, boom, gets set up. And then, boom, Renegade slams it down, Mars. This is the same one that hit you in the chest, knocking you to the ground earlier, but you've braced for this. And how do you ba- how do you hit it back? Are you just in the air slamming it? I use it my tail. So you- Is that a legal move? You no. pivot out of the way, and with the spike of your tail are going to fire the ball back. Uh, it is going to sail, just barely skimming the net and spinning down where it's going to crank Renegade in the face and knock him to the ground, knocking his glasses off. Mm. Nice! High five! <laughs> Woo. That was intense. Good that game, awesome. everybody. Good Although I think game. you killed the ball. Oh no! Uh, hmm. Mending. <laughs> <laughs> That's really handy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. If you want to have a rematch later, I'd be really down for that. But for right now, you know what I feel like? I know what you feel like, buddy. Yeah? Yeah. Running. And then he just <laughs> takes off running down the beach. Huh. <gasps> They're really in sync with each other. <laughs> hmm. I, like, I know what you're referencing, but at the same time, to me, this sounds like um, Bill and Ted. <clears throat> I mean, it's a buddy duo, so... Uh, and then once they think they're... So they're just going to take off sprinting as fast as they can down the beach. Uh, but once they around the corner a bit and think that no one can see them, they're just going to start holding hands and skipping. Aww. Aww. Meanwhile, back at Malia. Malia, what are you doing? <laughs> um, Malia is going to, I think, just stretch out next to Farah and soak up that sweet, sweet sun. So Fair is just laying on there, like kind of doing one of these numbers. Yeah. By the way, you have lipstick in your ear. Oh, okay. <laughs> she just calmly. She doesn't give a shit. I won't tell if you won't tell. What am I not telling you about? That's your. Oh, I see. I mean, does it really seem like I'm a hussy when I hang around with Mars? I think, I mean, I think her and Zeno are out hussy. I think I look like a barely functioning member of society at that point. Flame of Ardor, you are trying to leave my bedroom without satisfying me. In the name of all that empowers me, you shall not pass. This is great. I'm just kidding. You can do what you want. I just didn't know you were into, um, snacks. I thought I mean, you had a... Don't you already have a snack on the plane boat thingy? On the ship? Well, that has never been confirmed yet, so... I just realized that we left him on board to repair the entire ship while we hang out on the beach. Yep. He's banned from here, apparently, so he he took himself out. Sucker. I think that's his fault at this point. Fly, you fools. (laughs) So, Malia, what are you doing while they're playing volleyball and surfing? Um, like... Just hanging out. Just hanging out. All right, so I'm just going to do a quick tanning roll. All right, so you have a tan rating of 11 now. Sweet. Uh, You know what? You you start at an 8, so that's actually pretty tan. You're going to be a little lobstery for a couple days. (laughs) Uh, Tia, you do not brown at all. You're the same color. Uh, Zeno, you are wearing enough sunblock to kill a moose. Uh, So you're fine. (laughs) Uh, Feyre actually is going to get a little tanned. Oh, and nice. Mars is going to be the exact same color she always was. <laughs> Sweet. Maybe. Hmm? 
sweet. Yeah, maybe you're gonna get a little bit like on. Well, you know what? You're actually uniform. Plum. You don't have any tan lines. Plum. You're just like, do you want tan lines now? Do you want just like the little strips? Light ones, but like, okay. the heat doesn't affect me. No, the heat so doesn't like, affect you. But like, my skin could probably. Technically, it's radiant damage. Uh... Good thing we're not undead. It's true. The undead just can't. Like, they're just out there with like sunblock everywhere. All right. Uh, so you are going to have a great time. Hours pass. Uh, you're all going to restore your hit points from rest. So if you're awesome. down any, they're going to go all the way back up to full. Nice. Uh, Do I get my spells you, back too? Uh, sure, why not? Sweet. You are going to have a fantastically relaxing time on the beach, playing <laughs> games, learning shuffleboard, a bunch of bunch of old retirees down there. I remember when I was an adventurer and we went and... Uh, we stopped a couple of giants from raiding villages. That weren't giants, those were trolls. You don't remember well enough, Numskull. Yeah, I know exactly what I'm talking about. Until I met <laughs> yeah. my husband. These guys are great. Yeah, anyway, we'll mumble to someone. <laughs> anyway, these trolls. These trolls were, uh, you just said they were giants. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. The big, the big bastards. They all look the same anyway. I mean, when you're like, I'm a... From human height, they all look the same. Anyway, um, that's why I says to Mortimer, you are Mortimer. I, but yeah, I said to Mortimer, I am Mortimer. Anyway, what I says is we need to get the hell out of here before we get eaten too. And Mortimer says, who was I speaking to? You're speaking to Mortimer. I am Mortimer. And then <laughs> you're going to feel this. Bum, 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 bum. The ground is going to start to shake a little. Hmm. Is that normal here? What? I can't hear you. The shaking isn't normal. <laughs> and as that happens, there is going to be a tremendous trembling that starts to radiate throughout the ground. Uh, from where you are on the first island, you will be able to see along the rest of the keys. Along the island chain, there is... There are all of the other ones directly in front of you. You're on... Um, you've let, been led over to Ventus at this point, but Sulis is right next to you. Oh, pardon me, you're still on Holly. What am I thinking? So the next one, Ventus, which is more of uh, uh, more of like a nightclub island, mm. is trembling as well. Windows are cracking. Sulis, the next one over, which appears to be a little more child-centric, is starting mm. to shake. You can hear children screaming and yelling in fear. Uh, and as you are looking around, you are going to see the two sunken islands, Jespo and Carmini, Jesfo begins to shake and tremble and slowly rises out of the water inch by inch but there's something wrong with it the buildings are all waterlogged damaged As they're draining of liquid, you see that all of the houses have a thick membrane around them that begin to puff out as the water drains. As you're looking forward, you see an immense silver shape rise out from this membrane and begin to slough its way down the beach. It's a giant ooze, a silver one, like the t like one of those two that you fought inside of the restaurant last night. Oh, for fuck's sake. You hear people screaming and running out of the way as it moves its way down the boardwalk. Hmm. We should do something about that, shouldn't we? What do you all do? Well, I would have brought my stuff with me. Obviously. Yeah, it's with you. It's in a bag. Yeah. All right. Well, how far away is it? 
uh, from where you are, it is one island away. So like a two I will get run. armored up. Not gonna yep. take the bathing suit off. Just put it all on over top. Literally, yeah. yes, exactly the same. Okay. How how many the feet quickest away? version I can. Uh, Strap on so armor. I would, how many feet away? Probably about five hundred. Okay. Okay. Uh, and is there anybody like directly beside it right now? Uh, people are running away from it. People it's going through the center. It. It's it's kind of moving between the 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 buildings of the uh, the island next to you, kind of walking down, well, oozing down Main Street, <laughs> and you can see that suddenly people are emerging from it and looking around. People that look completely identical to you five. What? The five of you, dressed in your armor, are walking down the square in front of this. Did it copy us? I am going to knock, knock a couple arrows and shoot at it. Okay, go oh, ahead. Shit. I'm, you're, I'm gonna do that thing. You're at distance, so go ahead. You don't take any penalties from it, but go ahead. All right, these are just gonna be normal arrows. Okay. Um, but I am gonna take the minus five plus ten on it. Okay. Well, they're and, not normal uh, arrows because you're using your bow. Yes, yeah. So, but they're not like they're not know, like magic arrows. clap or anything. They're just normal. Okay. Let the plus one arrows. Uh, and I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on it. Okay. So here we go. All right. So that's going to be a okay. That low one was oh god, it's been a while since I used my bow. Here, here's my cheat sheet. Uh, okay. So to hit. Um, so that's that. So the first one's going to be a 26. That's a hit. Second one's going to be a 17. That's a hit. And the third one is going to, uh, do, 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 uh, 15. 15 is a hit. Fantastic. Cool. All right. Uh, I wasn't expecting this, so I didn't have my dice roller up. Let me load that real quick. <laughs> wow. That's okay. not the right word. I wrote, I wrote dinner instead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> dinner roller. Roll your nice dinner. Nice dinner. Nice dinner. All right. So here we go. And that's uh, that's uh, minus five plus ten. Let me just calculate this real quick. For Sorry, I, I, I wasn't expecting this right away. Um, okay. You're coming in a little loud right now, just so you know. Oh, sorry. Uh, my, 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 my mic a bit too close. How's that? That's better. Uh, okay. So uh, damage is going to be that. That. Uh Okay, so I add that. Um, so that is going to be 88 damage uh, plus the plus ones for the arrows, 91 damage. 91 damage, okay. 91 uh, damage. Damn. Uh, and that's aiming at the... Um, I'll aim at the ooze. You're aiming at the ooze itself, not the, not the copies? Oh... Okay. Yeah, I'll aim at the, I'll aim at the ooze. Okay. Uh, three arrows are going to launch through the air, colliding with the silvery form of the ooze. Um, the arrows are going to strike, rattle around, and a moment later, the ooze is going to upturn, split down the middle, and collapse into the ground, uh, dissolving into the sandy streets beneath the boardwalk. The doppelgangers of you are going to suddenly deteriorate and collapse to the ground, momentarily skeletal, but even that will fall away as the ooze yields. I'll also note that I'm doing this while I haven't armored up yet. I'm in my board shorts and my shirt that says Island Walkabout. Okay, sounds good. This is really funny. All right, so that ooze is dead. But the clones are still there, you said? Nope, they have dissolved into okay, nothing cool. as well. Oh, okay. wow. Okay, cool. So is okay. there anything else we should be looking for? Because that seemed too weird. Weird. weird and way too easy. Okay. Um, uh, perception check? Sure, go ahead and make a perception check. Sorry, I, I cut you off there. I would also like to do that. Does it make me a perception check. Yeah. Mm. I'm distracted, apparently, not one. Not one? <laughs> yeah. You're just like, I look awesome like this, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Bo goes great with these shorts. Oh, 25? Um, yeah. Yeah. Sick. Okay. Um, 15 from Tia. Okay. 
Uh, you all will glance around quickly and one moment while I try something. Um, boop. Okay. And Mars, what'd you get? Hmm? I got you... a 16. Okay. Uh, so glancing around, you will see that people are, were screaming and running and have moved away from the area where the, the, uh, the Oblex just collapsed into the ground. Glancing around quickly. Okay. There's nobody on the beach. Even the surfers have moved away. The the two griffin riders have, have vanished and have ran to the other side of the beach to get away from this. Uh, it's just the ten of you. Wait, ten? Yeah. Zeno, Mars, Malia, Farah, and Tia. And Tia and Mars, Malia, Farah, and Zeno. <laughs> All of you are standing in a circle. Hmm. One pair of each of you. And are, are we all like identically? Or yeah, you're, you're, you're all identical at the moment. Oh no. Mm. Fucking ooze. I, do I, I know, have to kill right? myself here? Or can we get talk this through? The oozes are going to, well, a, a set of you are all going to turn and look at each other. <clears throat> and in unison, stereo, all of your voices are going to say the following. Uh, Nothing ventured. You are cordially invited to a meeting on the site formerly known as Jeffso. Ah. You are welcome to bring any equipment, weapons, or protections that you see fit, although they will not be necessary. This is purely a friendly invitation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, be rude to turn down an invitation, so, uh... I guess... Let's go. When, let's go. Is this now, or is there a timeline on this? Absolutely. Mablexa will be expecting you. Mablexa? Mablexo. Mablexo. Okay. So just like now, if we head over there, that's at your convenience. You can enjoy yourselves. It's unfortunate okay. that you killed the first envoy. Also, um, no, you are all still saying this in unison, mind you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry about the other night. I'm glad that we can discuss things cordially without trying to murder each other. Okay. If we can... Okay. Great. Uh, Mablexo will be expecting you. Thank you very much for your um, patience. Mm-hmm. The waves are going to pull back a little bit, and you'll notice that the five who were talking have a small strand of ooze that is um, stretching out and into the water, where there's a large, dark mass beneath the waves. Hmm. You could have just, like, sent a letter. Then we wouldn't have accidentally killed the envoy. He was carrying a letter. Never gave it to anybody. We we were using the streets specifically to not appear threatening. You appeared threatening. But, but you really took scary. over our heads and showed us things that weren't there, and then... I don't get paid enough for this. Did. Look, are we... Did... <laughs> Nope, that's fair. Yeah, don't say. You, I'm you just killed, saying. You killed my nephew. That's fine. He sucked. Sorry about. No. Oh. I'm just an envoy too. I'm just his supervisor. Okay. Is, well, once again, this is all five of you saying I'm just his supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Um. Okay. Thank you for delivering the message. We will be seeing Mablexo soon. Huh. Thank you. Uh, and uh, the the Oblex is going to use Dimension Door again and vanish. <laughs> All right. Well, shall we go take care of this so we can hopefully be done in time to go come back to the crawfish cookout? That was Cause... really weird. This is weird. This is really weird. Yeah. So let's go unweird it and take care of it. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. That seems like a great place to take a bathroom break. So we'll be right <laughs> back, sucks. everybody. Hello, and welcome back to Generic Fantasy Setting number 17735. Uh, this is season three, episode three. And uh, so you've received a message from the Oblacks that have been inviting you to the former site of Jeffso Island. Jesfo? I think it was Jesfo. Jesfo, yeah. It was Jesfo. I wrote it wrong on my second set of notes. Whoops. Jesfo. Whoopsie. All right. Jeffs. Jeffs. All right. So, uh, and thank you, Stu. It's always good to have Stu here. Yeah. Um, what do you do? Do you get, you put on your armor, gather up your things? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah def definitely gonna armor up after hearing you know the the story about what happened last night. <sighs> All right, uh, Farah will throw on her her mage outfit as well, and her boots because yeah, gross. Um, and is gonna throw all of her books. Oh, her strength's pretty high. Never mind, she's fine. She has enough to carry like twelve paperbacks in her backpack. She'll be good. All mm -hmm. right, and we'll head. Are you guys gonna head out? Uh, as you are walking through the streets, you're going to notice that people are watching from their homes. They're, they've shut their shutters and are gazing out on the street with a look of trepidation. But as you approach, as you all approach and walk through the center of town, uh, you can hear them calling out, Yeah, you go get them! You go get them! We believe in you! <laughs> go get them, nothing ventured! Wait. Yes. There go heroes right there. Big damn heroes. <laughs> How upset do you think they'd be if we said we were going to go meet with them and have a talk? Just don't say anything. I'm just If saying, it works out, like, we tell them afterwards, hey, we brokered an awesome deal for you. Yeah. As, as we're going through and, you know, hearing people say that, Zeno's you know, just going just, just gonna to wave. Woo! You see that he looked at us. <laughs> I'd like to really behold weird. what's in those shorts. Um. And I'd like to be behold you too, fine citizen. Good, good job, metrosexual man. <laughs> Sorry, he was doing a metro man joke, and it's Zeno, so you know. He's yeah. totally metro. Oh, yeah. Uh, remember that used to be a thing? Right. <laughs> that was so dumb. It's like, I shower once a day. Metro. Basic hygiene. I wash my feet. Metro. No. Anyway. I exist. Metro. Oh well, yeah, you. Well, you're you're something special, but like. You're great. Oh yeah, Mike's wonderful. You're great. You're great. You're a tiger, Mike. <laughs> right. Okay. I didn't know so, you were a druid. I'm not gonna make the joke but Mel Brooks joke here. Um, as you're walking down the street, you find yourself going through the other two islands on the way to Jeffso. Jeffso. And as you approach, uh, what are you all doing? Mars, what are you doing? I guess it's just like, I'm not fond that we were having a vacation and then now we're going here. So she's kind of like, mm. she's like, really? Okay. She probably still has her drink in her hand too. Totally. <laughs> You got another one on the way through. Just oh, like, yeah. There was a cart there. The dude abandoned it, so you can just grab another one. Yeah, basically. <laughs> just stole another drink. Yep. Okay. People are cheering for you. And uh, as you are walking forward, you are going to see that the bridge that had long since broken off between um, between Sulis and, Je and uh, Jesfo Island your only way to cross I guess the Oblex went underneath the waves but as you approach there will be a rumbling noise and a slightly slimy bridge looking like it's made of stone will mm. rise well looks like it's made of stone but it has a slight slimy texture mm. to it rises out of the waves, connecting the 200 meters to the next island. Convenient. 
Tia will walk across. Okay. Yep. Cross, I mean, it's a, yeah. it's a little slick, hmm. but nothing that you can't handle. Hmm. And as you cross the crashing waves, may everyone make me a perception roll if you're looking around. Coming up. Absolutely. So this was once a tourist destination. 18. It was perfect. 18. Cool. 23. 23. 27. Yep. 27. 22. 22. I did my and, best. <laughs> and Farah with a 14. So you beat Farah. All right, so uh, all of you are going to be able to succeed that without a problem. Looking around, you're going to see the remnants of what was a a really standard tourist town. Waterlogged bits of seaweed clinging to the sides of buildings all around you. You're walking down a main street, but as you approach this once... Once, this was one of the gems of Island Walk. This was one of the spring break capitals. This was the slice of hometown Toulousia. Mm. Now it's waterlogged. Starfish hanging off of everything. Sponges and other coral bits beginning to grow around door frames. Mm. And then you start to hear noise. <laughs> And as you round a corner, you are going to see dozens of humanoids that look like the villagers from... Ooses. They're cleaning the streets. And that's when you start to hear music. coming from directly in front of you. The main street leads straight ahead to a massive fountain. And on the other side of it, you can see what probably once was a, uh, like a hotel. A very, very large hotel is rapidly being rebuilt into a large castle by hundreds of workers all tethered by these Lengths of slime. Mm. Ooze. A man is going to approach, a human male in his late 40s. He has a mustache, and on his back, you see he's wearing a bit of a knapsack, a backpack over his shoulders, and there's a slight oozy tether going into the backpack. <laughs> it's, yeah, okay, baby ooze in a bag. Uh, right? Hello there. Hello, hello there. Nice to meet you. How can I help you? Um, Mablexo is expecting us? Of course. Please, come with me. Let me be your guide. You're already expected. Can I get you anything to drink? Perhaps a banana slug shake? I'm I'm okay. We, I'm, uh, I'm good. I'm okay. But thank you for uh, offering. I'll take one, Farah says. One moment, please. Kevin, can I get a banana slug shank? Sure thing, boss! And a moment <laughs> later, um, a frothy banana smelling thing that looks identical to what Edagon was serving is going to be handed over to Farah. <laughs> it's the same thing. Please, come this way. I would love to show you to Mablexo. Tia will follow. Yep. As you can see, our renovations are well underway. We hope to be open within the month. So, the island is being repaired then? Absolutely. Oh. Huh. Huh. Hopefully, you'll have a good time here. I don't know exactly why Mablexo is calling you here, but I hope that whatever negotiations or discussions that you have are fruitful. By the way, my name is Kendrick. Nice to meet you, Kendrick. Unless that's unpleasing to you, in which case, I'm happy to be and 
he'll suddenly shift down into an attractive, angular-faced drow woman. Medina. Um, whatever makes you most comfortable. I'm comfortable in any form. Then, cool. Please, follow me, then. Might as well just stay as Medina while I can. Okay. May as well. Sure. Sure thing, Medina. So, she'll lead you down the main way. And that's in the distance where... Or in the distance, you'll start to see that there are many, many other buildings that have been quickly erected around here. You can see that there's one just around the corner that looks like it's got... It looks like an old mine shaft proceeding into a building. I think we've nope. got this one working. Is it good? Well, I don't know. It, just go ahead and run somebody through. Start the music. And uh, so what are what are you building here? We're building the happiest place on Earth. What's Earth? We're building the happiest place on Elos. How do you know it's the happiest place? Because we're working on it. Actually, they're starting the ride now. You should be able to listen to it. And across the way, you'll hear a bunch of cherubic children's voices singing. We are all ooze. Which way we choose to grow for limbs with heads to lose from the start. Um, oh, pardon me. Uh, from the heart, amoebas from the start. Jelly skin, the same within. We're not confused. We're all who's. We're oh. all who's. Which way we choose to grow for limbs with heads to lose. And just kind of keeps looping and looping and looping and looping. <laughs> do, you, do you think that's going to get annoying eventually? No, it's fine. Besides, it's a small world. People are going to pick up the song and it's going to really carry some brand recognition after a while. Zeno is already humming it. Huh. Okay. Anyway, uh, so you've seen um, Hometown Toulouse. Oh, hometown, is that... Hometown okay. TAS. Absolutely. So okay. this... E so please, come with me. And she'll lead you into the castle that's under construction and down a flight of stairs if you'll follow her. Yep. I, yeah? Okay. I've followed this far, may as well continue. All right. I need to know how this ends. Yeah, this is wild. The music is going to fade out as you head downward. And as you head into the basement of this. It's still a little wet with drying water. And you can hear a bit of construction, but this area down here, it must have been a must have been a temple or a hotel or No, no, this is the remnants of the hotel. This looks like an old conference room. It's been really rebuilt well. And Medina will lead you into uh into a huge conference room with a table that looks like a war table. This is mm. twice the size of the table that you uh, worked around at Dog Run Bridge for the negotiations. You can see that there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, there are ten individuals in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, five on one side of the table, four on the other side, and one at the front of the room staring at a bunch of a bunch of things written on a chalkboard. And as you enter, uh, Medina will smile and say, please grab a seat here. And she will head over to gain, or to put her seat, or pardon me, to take her seat at the, uh, at the less populated side of the table. Uh, there are all sorts of people in this room. There's a, um, a male half orc sitting next to a halfling, a human, a dwarf. Um, these are all for the most part, you think people you've seen around town? Uh, a couple that you haven't. There's a there's a silver scaled dragonborn sitting on one end of the table. Hmm. Uh, 
doesn't look like this one has any viscous fluid attached. Uh, next to him, uh, there is a, a female half-orc that is obviously has a slight sheen of ooze around her ankles. Um, and yeah, for the most part, it's you, the silver dragonborn, and sitting toward the front of the room, second from the left, uh, you are going to see that there is... There is the mayor of town, or something that looks just like him, sitting at the front of the room. Um, and Don't then there's these. there's some like, empty seats. Then there are empty seats at the back of the room. It basically is kind of like like that. So you're okay. going to be at the bottom. Okay. So they all turn, look, and smile and wave. Uh, um, the silver dragonborn does not. Hmm. Um, and, uh, there is one human male at the front of the room. And as you look, you can see a bit of point to his ears. No, it's a half-elf. Mm. Or at least there's some elf in that. Mm. He's wearing finery. Dark. Professional. Hmm. And as he is looking at the front of the room, he's going to mutter to himself slightly and say, Please, grab a seat. He is okay. going to go grab a seat. Yep, Zeno is going to grab a seat. Did you have a comfortable uh, walk through the development? It was yes. eye-opening. Interesting. Mm hmm. Excellent. Um, well, allow me to introduce myself, and he will turn, and you will see a, a black haired half elf with um, quite an angular jawline, um, thin chin, um, sporting a, a wispy but very dark mustache. My name is Mablexo. And I'd like to welcome you to Obiland. Uh, sir, Ubiland. Ubiland. Is that what we're going with now? Good. Huh. Not Obluxland? Well, it was either... We could do Obluxland as well, or, or Oziland, or Uziland. Hmm. Run it by the focus testers, and we'll see which one is actually going to draw enough. Anyway, Welcome. Uh, these are my associates. Mm -hmm. On the left, we have <laughs> and and over here we have and making noises that a human or half elf vo vocal cord cannot make. That sounds like bubbling slime. Mm. Uh, ah. you, you of course know the mayor, and, uh, have you met Nakul? The silver dragonborn will just kind of look at you. Mm -mm. No. Uh, nice to meet you. So, Nakul is a, uh, uh, member of a rival adventuring party. Mm -hmm. Although I thought I would reach out to you first, given your excellent... Uh, excellent work against my people last night. Uh, sorry if, if any offense was taken. If you were able to kill them, that's beside the point. They should have been better about it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, so, uh, thank you very much for coming to this meeting. I don't want to waste any of our times. I know that I'm a very v busy being, and so are you. The room smells like sulfur in here. It's rather rough. And, oh, that reminds me. 
And uh, as he glances up at the top corner, um, he'll snap his fingers and a little device at the top corner will puff out a floral scent. <laughs> We're working on that part, but the rest is pretty good. Um, can we get that... Um, can we get that set up to do at a regular interval? I worry that it's going to attract from customers. Uh, sir, we're already working on that. It should be done by probably two, um, probably two days from now. Good. Make sure that it's uh, particularly good in any indoor space, but I also want it uh, going through the main uh, pavilion. If you can make it smell like popcorn as well, that's usually pretty pleasing. Uh, so you are the adventuring party, Nothing Ventured? Um, that is that's correct. Yes. Yep. Good. That's good, us. Good, good. Well, you're quite popular. We do a lot of things. Yeah. Good. Seems to be the case. Yep. Well, I do like Oblix Land. What do you five think? Oblix Land, Uzi Land? Uzi Land. Uzi Land. I do like. Ubi Land was pretty good, but Uzi Land I think has a better Uzi. ring to it. Uzi Land. It's easy to say. Yeah. yeah, Uzi Land just kind of flows off the tongue. All right. Memorable. I'm guessing you're setting up a summer entertainment hub? Well, actually, we're thinking that 10 months a year once you bypass the hurricane season, and given my um, prodigious magical knowledge, I feel that we can buffer ourselves even from that with a false climate control. Oh. Uh, here's what no, please, go ahead. Oh, I just said that's ambitious. It is ambitious, but yeah. we also were able to raise an island in an afternoon. Yes. Um, we do apologize for the inconvenience of having um, had issues with you last night. Yes. Hmm. What was happening there? Yeah, that was very... We were doing market testing. Involuntarily. Uh, well, they received free food and, uh, uh, I suppose, yes. Uh, however, there are worse things that could be done. Doesn't mean what you did was not a bad thing, though. Like, just because you could do worse doesn't mean you didn't do something kind of bad already. There's no kind of to you. I mean, don't exactly. Yeah, no, we, uh don't really appreciate coming to town and then having like it's one thing if you set up pulled into our head like if we had like had like a signature thing where we could have been like here enter this thing for these things and like sign and be like okay yeah okay i'll read to the testing but no it was like go into this bar and on no adventure order. call and mm -hmm. like we were lured here basically Which the under false pretenses did react the way we did mm -hmm. i guess you could say that it's a cattle call then Yeah, that sounds about right. Here is the thing. Uh, do you have those same type of ethics when you are eating your animals of prey? Because we eat memories. Yeah, but people can offer their memories consentingly. That's not something we necessarily would think of. Now, you have to understand that when we, Oblexes, are born, we don't have that kind of knowledge. We're intelligent, about as intelligent as a, a, a prepubescent child of one mm -hmm. of your races. Uh, however, it's not something that occurs to us. In fact, it wasn't something that occurred to me until quite recently. Um, mm. It's when I uh, feasted on the memories of a particularly enterprising young... Well, a particularly enterprising dwarf named uh, Warla Warpowski. Warla had very interesting ideas about uh, capitalistic enterprise through a corp corpo conglom uh, conglomerate structure and ways to do a, uh, a symbiotic relationship. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, uh, so here's what I'm doing here. Uh, what we are doing here, me and all of my children, at Uziland, mm -hmm. we're giving you your heart's desire. It 
Let me give you an example. Um, and he'll reach under the table and pull out a great axe. Mm -hmm. mm. Can I borrow you for a moment? Uh, of course, sir. Uh, a half, uh, a half orc with a surprisingly light voice will stand up and. Great. Uh, and then uh, Mablexo will cut his head off. He'll collapse to the ground and immediately reform from a tendril of ooze that comes through a corner of the room. Thank you, sir. And he'll sit back down. Okay. Killing our extensions doesn't really trouble us. So, what this means is that we have unlimited potential to provide a unique entertainment experience. Picture it right now. Families coming through, people looking for getaways, uh, people looking to live out their heart's desire, looking to live out adventurous quests, romantic interludes, and uh, maybe have romantic trice with those who have spurned them in the past. Mm-hmm. Well, they can. For a fee, anything is possible here. The m avenue that you walk through will soon be selling these, and he'll head over to a flip chart, flip it over, and you'll see there are a bunch of designs for um, this really cute mascot, Obli the Ooze, <laughs> as well as ooze shaped hats, t shirts, treats. Ice cream cone shaped like pink ooze. Do, do, do you have any of those shirts already made? Yes, we do. I'd like to buy one. Or we'll make sure that uh, five of them are given out gratis as well as the hats. The oh. treats are still in development. So unfortunately, I'd offer you those, but they keep accidentally poisoning our test cases. It's the Probably coloring. Should keep working on that. Yeah. Oh. We don't want to lose customers. The Let way me... that we figured it. Oh, sorry, please. Oh, um, have you consulted with some of the local bakers and people for coloring options that are safe? We're working on that right now with the mayor. Thank you for coming okay. here, Mr. Mayor. It's it's not a problem at all. I'm just happy to be here. So, here's what I'm thinking right now. We have uh, been working on a number of enterprises, including uh, setting up daily uh, daily parades. Uh, right now, we're looking at licensing a number of uh, a number of things uh, over in Vandelia. There's a famous haunted house. We're going to build a replica of here that you can tour. Uh, but we need something special. Mm, what does that have to do with us? Are we the something special? You're nothing ventured. Yeah. So nothing ventured. Would you like to gain something? Because you're starting to become famous. Hmm. So the reason that I've had you come here today is I would like to talk about licensing opportunities for your likeness and brand. Hmm. Did I know you were going to say that? It seems pretty obvious to me. So here's my thought. And he'll flip the chart over. Dog Run Bridge, the experience. Hmm. We can recreate the Battle of Dog Run Bridge, which we already have the schematics from drawing them from your mind, but we want to do this legally hmm. with a licensing contract. People hey. can go, they can actually pretend to be you or fight alongside of you depending on which hour the battle runs during. They can participate. We can have copies of you that will act exactly like you and accordance to your wishes. We can even modify your behavior as to better improve your, your fame. Um, I don't... Mm. This is all in support of Island Walk. After all, your economy has taken quite a hit, hasn't it, Mayor? We're a little bit in the shitter. Dude, so far, I don't actually really have a problem with this whole thing. You know, it's kind of thing is like, you know, my, my family licensed their name out as Good. well. So. You're interested in this? Good. Uh, well, that means that, uh, Nicole, can you please uh, take a walk about and we'll discuss bringing stormy skies into this um, perhaps this afternoon around six? Fine. The silver dragonborn gets up and struts out of the room. 
Uh, I... hmm. Mayor, do you mind giving us some time here? Uh, the same with if you could please give us some space. About half the room empties out, leaving only two pairs of slime people. <laughs> okay, so um, personally, I'm not super comfortable with anyone using my likeness. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There's fame and notoriety, and then there's drawing unwanted attention to ourselves and how it will look in terms of egotism, which is not what I'm looking for. Well, are you looking for licensing fees? No, I don't need that. Just think of the... Think of what this is going to do for people. They get to come here. They give us some memories. We rewrite their lives in a better way. I mean, if you... That's not the worst thing in the world, but just I don't really want to have my likeness involved in it. Like, I won't stop you from doing this if you're doing it ethically, but... I... Hmm... Hmm. Well, we can omit to you, Armstrong. You're welcome to exclude yourself from nothing ventured. It could be a, a side adventure. Are we even legally allowed to sign away the guild name with the Adventurer's Guild? You're not signing away the do? guild name, you're licensing its use. Yeah. Like you would to do? a bard tale. According to the standard issue contract of the Adventurer's Guild, you can do whatever you, with your name that you'd like, including sell it. Interesting. Now, Good in know. this case, this would require you signing a contract for branded merchandise, the Nothing Ventured Experience, which with uh, our experience team, you could help customize. Including if you wanted to make it, uh, there would be, of course, be an extra licensing fee if you wanted to have it include an erotic component. Basically, you decide what options are available to your doppelgangers. Are they killable? Seducible? Is everything open? Now, of course, the number of options do raise the amount of payment. Uh, the basic structure we have right now, we have the, uh, the friendly package and the extra friendly package. The extra friendly package, of course, would be the one with a sensual component. The family friendly version uh, is our base negotiation if you are interested uh, negotiations are something that we could have our starting offer is 10 thousand gold pieces per annum with a renegotiation term at the beginning of each calendar year I don't know about the rest of you, but I think I'm going to sit this one out. Uh, <laughs> uh, 10,000 10, gold per year. I'm aware. Per party member. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of gold, but also... That's... Mm. Grant, I could see how it would be weird. It's pretty weird for me. Honestly... I feel like you may be overdoing it in the beginning. That you should try and make this party central like it used to be. Just the best party experience ever that will never mm. get bad. Yeah. Yeah. Have it a place where people come and make new memories and then take the like get those memories from them or something. I don't know. And potentially go forward from there with more mm. of I don't know, what is this? Like a themed thing besides like beach? Yes, it's mm. a themed um, amusement park. Yeah. I think at this point in time, I'm not particular. I would like to consider it and see how it happens, honestly, because I can, I can already think of a lot of ways in which this is, could be morally mm -hmm. unsound. And mm -hmm. I don't really want to be associated with that. And honestly, yeah. I'm not very interested. Thank you for discussing it with us. Very much so. We're, I mean, sorry I killed your earlier emissary, but to be fair, you should ask for. He was an intern. It's fine. Yeah. It 
just make sure you teach your interns then in the future to ask I'd... first for people who don't know anything about them. Mm -hmm. Though I would say you should probably uh, be pretty clear on what happens in case you get somebody else unsuspecting coming in. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, if it's all oozes, how is it going to work for the other people who live here? Are they going to just get bought out? I've already made just... accommodation with the mayor. The Oblexes will retain control of Jeffso and uh, Carmini Islands. The rest will belong to the humanoids. Hmm. We're, we're able to expand and we still have the old temple structure that we came from originally. We don't need to breathe, so it's easy. Fair enough. Um, I... Maybe after you're open... And we've seen how you run the place. I might maybe potentially reconsider, but at this point, I, I would be open be to a no. renegotiation later in the future. Yeah. But I at don't this wanna... moment in time, I can see the value of what you're, you want to do and mm -hmm. the interest in it. Mr. Rightwing, would you like to enter this contract without the remainder of your party? We would have no problem making it the Xeno show. <laughs> um, just on the contingency that you don't slap the Nothing Ventured named all over it. He has as much right to sign away the license to Xenoprifer right wing of Nothing Ventured. That is oh, that's true. Fine. That's fine. It'll just be his solo album. That is... Yeah. That is up to Xeno. You know what? Xeno... You do you. Miss uh, Hazal. Your opinion? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Girl. Oh, I love her so much. She's amazing. Oh, oh honey. You don't even know. Understood. And given what we gathered from your memories, I didn't assume that you would agree. Yeah, so um, I have a question about that. From the memories that you've gathered... Um, without permission or consent, are those able to be removed at some point? Because I don't feel comfortable with you having my memories. Hmm. Like, I really don't feel comfortable with that, given there was no consent involved. It actually makes me very angry at you, towards you. Hmm. How many animals have you eaten? That's irrelevant. It is not. Uh, the muscle tissue in those strapping biceps of yours is composed of cells, energy stolen from dead animals. They comprise every fiber of your being. Every bit of protein in your body is built on the carcasses of the dead. Yes, but you can always ask for memories first. We've can had this always... conversation. Hmm. From sentient to sentient with there is no way to thought. remove memories once they are eaten. You gain them back. Now just know that your memories will live on if you die. Take yeah, I don't in like that. that idea. I don't like that idea. Well, unfortunately, it is a thing, and we're not at liberty to reveal which one of us did snack on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it wasn't me. Um, I, I think I've seen enough. I'd like to go now. I think we have other business to attend to. At uh, least I do. Sure. Rest of you. Mm hmm. Mister Rightwing. Okay. How bad of an idea does this seem? Insight roll? Sure. <laughs> Tia is currently trying to not just start slaughtering them because she's angry. <laughs> you you can do what you want. Uh, I would I say it's probably a, a bad idea. Probably yeah, a so bad idea. Because I think we're in the middle of one right now, essentially. Yeah. Like, you think that they built the castle around one? Or like a shell? Is one? Huh. She's yeah. sort of tempted to turn into a fire elemental and just explode. Hmm. They're vulnerable to fire, right? Yep. 
Yeah. Uh, that was an 18 on my insight. You'd have to read the contract, but right now, um, it depends. They seem to be trying to do this above the, above the board. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how bad of an idea? In what sense? It's like licensing yourself to anything. Yeah, like... Do, um, to me, do this want... sounds a lot like Westworld in its creepiness. It's... it's it, well, you guys can see the places I'm drawing my inspiration from pretty clearly. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Like so, if someone built Westworld on ore. God. Malia's issue is it's essentially like an extra level of like emotional manipulation gambling. Mm. Where people who have lost something or don't feel like they're good enough get to come. And I feel like it's kind of more than a little hinky that they essentially get to like fuck somebody who doesn't want to fuck them. Yeah. Or kill them. Yeah. yeah. And, like, Tia feels this is very predatory and is Tia angry that it's like being borrowing. It will just make it easier for, for them it. to go and actually do it. Yeah. Like really incite it further because Gateway they get used murder. to it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gateway to murder. Gateway to murder. Mm -hmm. uh, so, if you're hmm. if you're planning to leave, um, you are upset at the idea that your memories are part of a collective. Hmm, or have been indeed. collected. Uh, however, um, please uh, hand out the uh, the legal. The half orc will stand up and hand you each a parchment. Mm -hmm. uh, a quick glance over it says that it is a um, uh, it is a writ that is um, revoking any permission to use memories gathered through feeding in the operation of this park. Standard clause. They're your memories. You have the rights to them legally. By signing that, there is no sub clause. You can see, uh, it revokes consent for us to use your memories. You've like never said, had consent. <laughs> yes, but we may not use them. Yeah, that's putting it in writing. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah basically saying that even though you, they have them, they want they they aren't able to. They aren't allowed. To use them. The difference is you're attacking us for verbally attacking us at least, for following our base natures and attempting to survive by feeding, which we do naturally. Now mm -hmm. that we have evolved to a state where we can give back and compensate people for something before we were unable to discern as a potential. You are mad at us for this. We are trying to make good and follow the laws of this land and the ethics stated. You can be mad at us all you want for the things that were done last night, but moving forward... Molly's gonna hope... review review the parchment carefully and just like ca casually kind of check for magic sure. and Go ahead and, and make, me, uh, make me an insight roll. Okay. Detect magic reveals nothing. Okay. Uh, that is going to be 28. 28? Uh, nope, it's just, it's really boilerplate. It's, hey, it, it even has a lot of, like, in the event that my memories have been absorbed, may or may not have been absorbed type of language, uh, mm -hmm. I do not consent to the recreation of any memories or memories containing my likeness or persona in the operation of, um park's final name to be you know it's in brackets yeah uh, through its operation it basically says that even people who have memories of you can't have those memories used yeah all right thank you um uh, malia will ask for a pen to sign it and say that at a future date i potentially would be willing to be reapproached. Thanks for dealing with the diplomacy. I would have just walked out. Depending on how I see your park develop. Come back in the summer. All right. And uh, we'll hand you a quill. All right. Who's signing the, the, the decline form? Malia. Now, before anything gets signed, mm -hmm. if... If that gets signed now, saying that you don't, that you're not allowed to use any memories you've already gained, 
Mm -hmm. If we come back, say, in a year and have changed our mind. That obviously is revocable. I mean, okay. if I choose to tear up the contract of my own, stating that nothing of mine may be used, that I signed. Well, e exactly, but just wanted to I doubt they're going to hold me accountable for tearing it up. In and under Toulousian law, all contracts may be nullified by the express consent of both parties. Mm -hmm. This is for most contracts in the land, uh, with the exception of marriage, which can be terminated by one party. And uh, there are a few others, but this is not one of them. Well, that tilt after his part. Yeah. Uh... As you can see in the writing there as well, it is based on the termination of a mutual. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's also, you see there's a line there that says, should you wish to terminate it, we have no, we have no guarantee that we will use your memories. Hmm. If we so, don't want to, we won't. Um, can I just like, Tia's trying to get some sort of insight on how bad of an idea it would be, or like how does she think she can take them if she goes fireball? Flint, should I should I roll for that because she's not acting on anything yet? Sure, but... you can make me an insight roll. Okay. Uh, I need to find what book he's in. One moment. Well, I rolled a four, so um, that's gonna be a seven. So how does she oh. think she can handle this? They uh, raised a fine... freaking island under you. <laughs> there are a lot of them here. Mm. Mm. I'm pretty sure you. I'm pretty sure, you know, Tia would have enough intelligence to to know that. If... Regardless of how angry she is, that I'll give you advantage on that roll. Cool. This is probably too many to take. Yeah. And no guarantee that your party would be would not be like, uh, Tia, what the fuck? We yeah, could have walked out peacefully. Sixteen? Uh yeah, no, I wouldn't if I were you. Okay. Mm I wouldn't, especially if this is the boss of the one that gave you trouble last night. Yeah. Maybe come back in six months and burn the place down. Yeah. She'll sign the um the do not consent then. The, the denial. Denial. And then she's gonna storm out. Just get out of there. Very mm -hmm. fast. Well. Uh if that's all that's to be spoken of, that's unfortunate. I guess we'll have to move forward with having Stormy Skies be the main attraction. Huh, unfortunate. They're um, not nearly as high ranked as you, but I assume they'll probably surpass you shortly. Potentially. You never know. I'm hmm. not particularly wrapped up in that. Um, but, but one thing, with a setting like this, something I might want to look into, spas always seem to be incredibly popular. Mm -hmm. That's actually what we're doing with, uh, with our last island. We're raising and turning into a, uh, an adult-centered pleasure island. Mm. Sounds there are lovely. Many natural spas, underground, uh, underground vents, and natural geothermic reactions. It also means that we don't have to disguise the smell very much. Fantastic. Mm. But yeah. Oh, uh, then go with peace, and uh, your T-shirts will be waiting at the front door once Glorb brings them. Thank you. Well, best of luck in your ventures. Best and Molly will your walk game. Right after Tia. All right, Pharaoh's gonna leave as well. Zeno, you and Mars, what are you doing? I'm just gonna follow along. I'm like, I don't follow diplomacy. Okay, Zeno. Uh, well, as much fun as I think it would be, I'm gonna follow with my party. I'll check back in the summer and see how things have progressed. Mr. Rightwing, I would suggest, though, don't take too long. You never know when the opportunity will dry up, particularly one that will be the most influential use of the Rightwing name on the continent. Uh... 
How, I'm gonna make a persuasion roll against you on that one. Yeah, I was actually just gonna say a persuasion roll. I think I have advantage. Uh, do I have persuasion? One moment. Do I naturally have persuasion? Okay. I got a 27, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. You know what? I didn't need to roll a 27. I, 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 I just used it against you verbally, so... Please, take, take your time. This is a big business decision. Mm -hmm. And were you to rush into it shortly, you would be too much like your brother. And we both know you're better than him. I'll check back another time. <laughs> Your t-shirts will be waiting upstairs. Thank you. Pleasure. And he'll offer a handshake. Hand is remarkably dry. And All I'll, right. I'll, before, I'll, before I leave, I'll, I'll sign the... The... The, the non-consent. The, non the non-consent? Okay. Yeah. All right. Before long, you are walking down the street again, away from uh, from Uziland, and in the distance, you can he still hear, "We are all ooze, whichever way we choose to grow four limbs, with heads to lose from the heart, amoebas from the start, jelly your skin." Mm. The same within, we're not confused. We're all ooze. We're all who's. We're all who's. And of course, you were each given your your Uziland T-shirts, or at least with uh, with Obli Obli the ooze, mm -hmm. and uh, strange kind of wiggling hats that you can put on. No. Can we just I mean, put these in the in the bag of holding? Let's just nah, shoves them into <laughs> just dumps into bag. Yeah. As, as soon as as soon as you know comes out, I'm I'm assuming you're just like bag, please, please. Thank you. Does anybody else feel like taking a really, really hot shower? Yes. Yeah. And can we get out of here like right now? My stomach is churning. Yeah. <laughs> like out of here, like to the ship? Yes. Sooner the better. All right. A few I, minutes later, uh, I can make... see how some of that could be good, but it's beneficial, but it's going a little too far. Ugh. The, I mean, it's a very naturally predatory race. Like, Letting somebody essentially fight alongside us at Dog Run Bridge. Mm. That's hard. That seems That's pretty harmless. But any of the other options, it's just like. Is it though? I don't really know. That's I don't thing. like it's, it. I didn't want to start yeah. a fight on that, but I'm not sure because those are. See, like, I feel like I demonic feel, oozes. I feel like it has the potential to be a really interesting, really beneficial thing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, granted, it is coming from a naturally very predatory race. I'm, I'm probably, it's... I mean, I'm going to notify one of the local temples that they're setting up <laughs> shop on the coast there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what they decide to do about it is up to them. Yeah, fair. So. All right. Who's going to call? Note to self, I'm not coming back here, I think. Um, mm. Once they're far enough away, be like, Maybe back on the ship, Tio will just be like, "Look, um, in a several months, um, I may return to just burn the place down." Um, you'll depending probably on how die. it goes, you'll, you'll probably die. Probably, but if they uh, if they do end up being super predatory about it, and uh, it ends up not being a good thing, then I will burn them down. And granted, what if you come back in six months and realize that it's actually an incredibly positive experience for people involved? And that's then, but until then, I have very dubious, uh... See, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm reserving judgment on it until I see it a bit further down the road. All like, right. Yeah. Look, I don't like that. anyone going into my head and then trying to legalize, legalize their way out of the fact that they took things from my mind. They can try and justify it all they want, but they have the coherency to be able to ask first. I think it's an excuse. Well, I mean, essentially they fed on you, and if a dragon tried to fight, feed on me, I'd probably punch it in the nose. Yeah. Yeah. And that then was just the biggest scariest thing I could think of, Farah. 
I'm going to bite uh, you later. Yeah, but you're not going to try mm-hmm. and eat us. So, but also, Tia, I was not going to freak out in there because as far as I'm aware, we were inside of like a structure hosing probably the biggest one possible. That guy was a little too smart. Yeah, I was sort of thinking I'd just so... turn into a giant ball of fire and just explode on them. Well, I, don't think I mean, I would have done Flame enough. Strike didn't do much last night, and that's a fifth mm. level spell. Mm. Like, it hurt them, but it didn't kill them. So... Maybe maybe once we've gotten a bit stronger. Yeah. So or at gonna... least with a lot t- more friends who don't like it as well. For the time being, I'm just glad we got out of there alive. Yes. You know, your life's worth more than that, right? What? Well, you just said go back and uh, you'll probably die, but whatever. Your life's oh. worth more than that. Um, I guess? I think a better way to do it is if it turns out to be really, really bad, you know, to try and shut them down on a legal, you know, from a legal standpoint instead of a... Just talk to let's... Kronar. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Like, Isn't there an entire tribe of people who enforce laws? Yeah, That's straight true. up. We should send them like a a pigeon or something. Uh, hey, how you doing? We ran into this yeah. weird thing. How legal is this? Yeah, that uh, would be good to check in on. Yeah. Could someone call Cadmus. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's go. I can't get out of here fast enough. All right, so you guys call Cadmus, and shortly after, the airship is going to uh, to swoop nearby enough that you can you can climb up the ladder. And uh, you'll find Cadmus there covered in grease. <laughs> mm. Ah, what I miss? Good stuff? Not, not much. Um, everyday stuff. Eh, oozes. No you treasure. Oozes. Ah, I hate oozes. Yeah. They're the worst. <laughs> yeah. Imagine yeah. eating freaky mind warping oozes. Especially when they're actually sentient. That was weird. And well versed in legal documents. And too many to kill. I think. Ah, there's they never might too have many eat- to kill. You just gotta try harder. That's what I was thinking. They but, raised right? an entire island. They did. They Made literally raised an Oh, I wondered island. what that was. It looked like yeah. it sank, but then it just came right back up. Yeah, no, they raised yep. it. They raised an island. And rebuilt I it. I guess when they were. When the people in the local area were digging around over there, they broke into a temple, old submerged temple. Filled with these oozes, and they just. Yep. Yep. Um. Huh. So. Yeah, it's not doing too well down there. I think they're brokering a deal with the oozes. Hmm. See, and this is why I never should have been banned from there, because I gotta just fix this. And honestly, last night they wouldn't have known who you were. Yeah. They were all like mine. Mm hmm. I mean, of course, this morning they would have maybe recognized you and been like, why are you here? So, mm-hmm. I mean, but it being one lovely. of the heroes would have potentially gotten your banning revoked, but. That's fair. Seemed mm. lovely, but. Is there a. Mm-hmm. Is there a halfling girl working at the XYZ still? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Ah, Tila. Is that the name? No. no it's not. Okay. Hmm. That was Miko that you met. Tila, huh? Oh, I guess it's been 50 years. Yeah, the one there was Miko. Miko, yeah. Hmm. Maybe it was her mom. (laughs) So, where to? And there, I think we might as well end the game (laughs) there for the night. He is actually going to turn to Fair and be like, do you think Cadmus had a kid and he doesn't know about it? I mean, mm. she looked pretty halfling. Yeah, but those features. There was, <laughs> there was something else there, too. Yeah, they're called boobs, you know. A little larger than the regular halfling. Um, and then as they're heading off, Tia's actually just gonna be, like, to fair, I just be like, um... And what you said before, no, it's it's not. You're yeah. no. 
but thanks for saying it. And she's just going to walk off and go to bed. <laughs> Idiot. And Farrah's going to gaze over the side of the ship as it begins to fly northward, away from Island Walk and on to adventure. And then we're going to call game there for the night. Oh. So we will see you next week on Wednesday for another episode of Generic Fantasy Setting, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to another weird episode. And uh, I'm not sure where they're headed yet. They'll tell me before next game, and then I'll have to figure it out. Uh, thank you so much for t tuning in. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're looking for more D&D content, it's D&D Week. So you can see us here with Curse of Strahd on Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific or on Monday for Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Uh, or if which... you didn't catch episode two, it's up on YouTube. It's up on and YouTube. And it is right. great. It is it's great. It's been delightful, the parts that I've seen. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Well, nice to have you all here. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. All right. And also, uh, Bongmaster, good to have you. Thank you for mm. subs or thank you for following. Uh, Stu, good to see you there. And as well, Stream Master D, good to see you too. And everybody else who's Hi. tuning in right now, uh, we love you. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. And we'll see you next time for Generic Fantasy Setting. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.